We're pulling cup after cup after cup. Yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life, real life. Yeah, we're loving the way they think we're so messed up. up. Even if what we're doing is bad, there's so many emotions. Sharing stories that we never had, yeah, none is real. I think we're searching for reasons not to be like them. them. We fly around like paper planes, they never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us, still they want to tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. are, are. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's something different about us. There's something different about the way we are. I don't like being on my own. I could use someone to hold. Trying to fill the void But my bed is getting cold Cause I don't have you I don't have us At least not anymore You said you had to go away Just to figure out who you are And I'm in this empty house With your pictures on my wall But I don't have you I don't have us At least not anymore Now I'm just waiting for We forgot about the way We could sit and talk all night We just let the good times pass And got caught up in our fights I say I don't mind, but that's a lie I thought we'd work it out I've tried to let you go Memories, they tend to stay Doesn't matter anyway Cause it won't be
So ya no hey. to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Be free Be free on the freeway Bonnie and Clyde a classic cliche we're on the run this is what we waited for take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out die with my own To your eyes, I see we're out of time. I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel. Maybe we were 
I didn't forget about Discord. You forgot about Discord. But Discord forgot about us. The way you used to feel. Okay. We good to go. Maybe we roll so fast. Maybe we got to hide. Four stream in three, two, one. What's up also lurk because I've been procrastinating all day. Old school. Old school scene switch. Welcome to my floor. Hello everybody. I hope you can hear me okay. I don't want to have, I don't know. I don't want to necessarily have the mic closer if I don't need to, but if I need to, I will. So yeah, let me know if I need to. Make it louder or adjust some stuff. <laughs> Sounds alright. Music not too loud. Also, I might. I was thinking. I might need to read chat off of my phone. Because it's a little bit difficult to see. I'm like. Where y'all at? <laughs> Too far to see. But this works fine too. Um, yeah, so hope you guys are doing well. Hope everyone's good. Um, sorry I'm late, but I just took my took my time to get ready. I don't know, I was so slow. Um, I've been going to I've been going to the Gym going to twice, uh, and I always assume that it takes less time to get ready. Um, I was just like, I'll just pop in there, come back, take a shower, prep, eat food, and thought I could do that in two hours, but but yeah, I couldn't. So it took me some time. Also, I won't lie, I I was kind of also taking some time to watch Joey. Cause I noticed that he's in Malaysia and yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't not be nostalgic for a little bit. So that was also one of the reasons why I was late, but we're here now. But okay, no, it's it's all good now. Well, thank you for giving a sub to Cameron. I haven't seen Cam in a while. What's good? What's good? Also, hey, Nirvan. Uh, Wolf Lutza. I. My only plan for today is to get my get my mm, get my get my plants repotted. Uh, I'm a little late with it because, to be honest, it's something you should be doing early spring or at least middle of it. I don't know, around March. Um, but yeah, I didn't have the time to and I procrastinated, so now I'm here. And yeah, it's a good opportunity for us to just chill a little bit and then I'll probably be doing some music later on. Hey, Raz. Well, thank you for giving us up to Jabroni, also. <sighs> Slowly 
to give myself more time buffers. It's not easy. Um, what? Hey, Michael. I love that kimono. Thank you. Thank you. I wore it last year when I did the when I did the repotting stream. This is the second time I, I'm doing this. So if you're if you're new, then uh, there is there is a, a part one to this adventure time, to this little leisurely activity that uh, I have made a tradition now. It's part two, and yeah, my my plants need some new soil, so I went. I went and got some new soil yesterday, and while I was at it, I actually, actually got some, not a lot, but some new plants as well. So I will show them off as well. I'm excited. Uh, oh shit! Seven hundred gifts. Seven hundred gifts. Thank you. Damn, 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 damn. Gardening is good, healthy hobby for mental health. Indeed. Yeah. It's been raining quite a bit, and my apple tree is very happy about that. Unfortunately, I can't show off my apple tree, but she's called Gertie, and she's outside. Hold on, I'll, I'll take a picture so you can see. She's got a ton of leaves, a lot more than last year. So I'm I'm kind of hoping it's gonna be a good year for year for her because last year was not. Um, I think she she suffered quite a bit from just like pests and and I don't know I guess just getting acquainted with the soil in my backyard which is not the best soil, but it is what it is. You Hold said on. it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me. Sorry that you take back. This is gonna be this is such a bad picture. Oh, you can't see shit. We kinda can though. Oh, you can, you can. There is our dear Gertie. There's Gertie. This is my apple tree. She is now um three years old. Wait, no, she was two years old when I got her. I got her Oh shit, she's five! Oh my god. My apple tree is five years old. That's crazy. Um. Hey, hey, hey. I'm very happy to see you at the concert. Yay! What a classic. Kirai, kirai, kirai. I'm very happy to see you at the concert. Yes. Um. Eh, eh, eh. Wanted to test my luck, but the VIP ban redeem is off. Um, oh yeah, I think we, I think we gave it a rest last, last stream, because a lot of it, a lot of them were, a lot of them were redeemed. I still have not, I still have yet to set a limit for the, for the Baton VIPs, because sometimes you just, you guys just rage havoc, and yeah, redeem too many. Um, but we can turn it back on. Uh, Veld, could you be a deer? Yeah. Uh, turn it back on. I'm I'm down to I'm down to do one. Gonna have to send my apple tree to school soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was three years ago. It was, I think. It was 2020. No, wait. Wait, no, she's four then. I'm confused. No, she's four. She's four. My apple tree is four. Got her when she was two, and I think the I think the repotting stream was two years ago. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm sad. This is annoying me so much. I have to I have to do something about this nail right here. And if we're gonna be leisuring, I might as well I might as well um, take the opportunity. See, yours sounds more likely, but that doesn't make sense anymore, so I had to believe anything. It was 2020. I believe. Well, I'm not sure about anything anymore, either. It feels like... 
it feels like time has just stopped making sense in general ever since COVID hit. I don't know if any of you feel the same, but a lot of I've had a lot of these conversations in the last last couple weeks, last couple months, where like you assume you assume you saw that friend, you know, last year. You assume you went to that you went to that party, did that trip a year ago, and you just instantly have to add two years to everything. Everything you thought happened a certain time ago. Everything just feels like it was yesterday and we've just lost two years of our lives and it's 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 this constant kind of reality check like yo no 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 that happened a long time ago a lot longer than you'd accept expect um yeah could i fast douche for the new stream kind of yeah uh i just looked at my fingers and um freaked out <laughs> had to do something about that no way Gertie is four, maybe three. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone can go check one of the clips. Um, did I just see you in an awkward travel clip? Maybe, maybe you saw me in, uh, what, the starting soon? The starting soon uh, screen? Uh, but yeah, I've, we, yeah. I've been in some of the awkward travel streams. Had some, we've had some good times together. Um, I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up with with Tulula. Uh, I hopped into her stream as well before starting stream. Uh, starting stream. She's leaving Thailand. Project M. Like I'm out of the loop, completely. I don't know. I don't know what's what's on the what's on the menu for the awkward's for Tulula. But, but, yeah. But hopefully I'll see them, I'll see them soon. Oh yeah, no, TwitchCon. TwitchCon is where I'll see them. Um, cannot wait. I think the pandemic has given us a different perspective on time and how to not, how to not waste it. Uh, you think? That's one way to look at it. It's ideally how, how, how we should look at it, but I'm not... I'm not sure. I'm usually an optimistic uh, in a lot of things in life, but but I also believe that things need to happen for far far longer periods of time to make a, an actual change. And unfortunately, I think this was not enough to like truly, truly change how people view the view the world or think differently about climate change or think differently about how we how we handle certain social situations so i don't know it's just one of those things that like shocks the world and then everything goes back to the way it was but um i'd like to be i'd like to be proven wrong i'd love it if if that weren't the case but Compared to c compared to how how excited I was and a lot of other people were about you know reading news, seeing seeing like these these really cool news about animals rehabilitate rehabilitating like territories um, where people uh, you know just weren't spending time anymore because they were indoors and they were like oh my god you know. Animals are animals are coming out and like plants. Wildlife is thriving now that we're indoors. But you know, sooner or later we go back outside and everything just goes back to normal and people start abusing their environment more and more. But uh, yeah, hopefully there will be some some change. I don't know. I was having this conversation with someone the other day. And just thinking, wow, there's gonna be so many, so many, uh, I don't know, research topics probably in the upcoming decades uh, about like this whole COVID situation. Very, very curious to see all that for sure. Hey, boo back. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Coin flip. OBS redeemed the coin flip. Which decides whether you're going to be VIP or banned for the next 24 hours. So, good luck. I love a nice coin flip. All right, OBS. You are now. for the day. Bye. And the band hammer hits. Once again, thanks for playing. Have a nice day. Um, I and a lot of us found you during the pandemic, so not everything needs to go back. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying there's uh, no, there's no good things about it. You know, everything has a, everything has an upside and a downside. Um, can we give you back those points? I'm not going to do a pop quiz right now. Uh, I'm about to replant my pots. Uh, so, unless you plan to be here for a few more hours, uh, I think, yeah, giving, giving you back your points is the way to go. But yeah, if you're still here later, we can, we can do, we can do a pop quiz about plants. So yeah, I mean, of course there's, there's tons of, tons of pros and cons to everything in life that happens. Um, we got to hang out a lot um, and got to know some, some new people that made their way onto Twitch, which was definitely cool. Um, I had a lot more time on working, yeah, working on music and upcoming stuff than I do now. That is for sure. I'm, wow, seeing, seeing the results, or no, I'm seeing the comparison between just, uh, just, wait, just like how, how busy life is right now compared to what it was back then. Got it just okay. I am gonna get started because I have a lot to do, and I'm probably gonna take my sweet ass time with these things anyway. Um, but no worries, I don't know what to start with actually. this guy oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah I wanted to do this thing um, I wanted to try and download one of those apps that tells you what plants you're looking at do you guys know do you guys know what the app is I've always wanted to try it someone someone once showed me uh, you basically it's just have to basically take a picture picture of it. Google Lens? Wait, leaf leaf snap? Leaf snap. Let's see. Because <laughs> I'm not I d I don't know the name of all my plants. Um or the type of plants they are. So I wanna try it out. Now's the now's the best as time as any. Actually, you know what I'm, you know what I'm gonna try and do? Make chat bigger so that I see what's going on. Yeah, um, you guys are kind of far away. Chat appearance. Font size. Oh, okay, that's a lot better. And I might even. What? Oh, why didn't I not think of 
this earlier. It's so much better. I can finally see. You guys are, you guys are taking up my entire screen now. You want to see? Can I, tell you what's um, been on my mind? I have to Sick and tired of the night in city Look. <laughs> that's what I that's what I see chat. <laughs> it's as big as it goes. The beautiful world around won't see it now. Yeah. Pack our bags and get in that car. Actually a little bit more narrow so you guys don't hide behind my laptop okay I still have to adjust to to this new perspective <laughs> still pretend I can't I can't it's as big as it goes I think unless I am missing something no no that's that's as big as it goes um okay let's see if get this app to work. No, please don't track. Don't track my way. Okay, I'm gonna do a free trial. Someone yell at me in three days or by the end of the day and tell me to delete this app so I don't pay for another app totally unnecessarily. Oh shit, right. I have to I actually have to never mind. Okay. I have to do another thing. Probably today actually. I have a yearly subscription still to a place that I don't use. Identify Oh my god, here it goes. Take photo. Would like to access your camera. Okay. Yeah, you can also use the zoom function in your browser. Let's not make this tech support. <laughs> It's fine. I see. I see well now. It's. I see well. Uh, it's perfectly fine. Okay. So you guys, you, some of you know this pl this this plant already. Um, what did we call him? I forgot. <laughs> I think. I think his name was like Rocky, Rocky Balboa, something. Don't ask me to remember the names. It's quite sad, but it was it was a long time ago. It was like two years ago, last time we did this. Uh, yeah, I think Chalky remembered most of them. I don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna try. Let's take a picture. Uh, okay, choose. Choose related type leaf, I guess. Oh shit, it worked! So this is a Crassula, Crassula ovata. Common names, jade plant. Uh, I think this is it. It's a jade plant. Fred? No, no, it was not. No, he was not called Fred. Yeah. I think I think it's it's this first one. There's some more options. Whoops. Elephant bush, Cape Province. Uh, common purse purslane. I think it's the first one. Predicted right, jade plant. Nice one. Good job. All right. I'm actually not sure. Was was he here? I know I got this plant. Um. Uh. Not like too long ago, but. <sighs> but it's been very small. It's stayed very small. So I have this bowl so that I can get rid of the old plant. <laughs>
The mineral jade grows on jade plants. Fun fact, Kappa. <laughs> well, if that were the case, if that were the case, I would be very mad because I haven't seen a single, a single jade. I think I've, I think I've been scammed. They gave me the wrong one. <laughs> I'm just impatient. Anytime now, anytime. What's up, Gavin? Thank you so much for the resub. Probably overwatered it. You know what's crazy? I've had this plant for like two years. And those are the roots that it has produced. Tiny. Tiny. Some leftover, some leftover soil, so I'm just gonna use that. Hey, it's okay. Well, it's also quite loud compared to, to my voice. Um, maybe. But if I if I make them any quieter, then I'm not gonna hear the I'm not gonna hear the music. Neither are you. Whoa! All right. Rocky B. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Rocky B. That that's that was his name. Close enough. Close enough. Rocky Balboa. Um, I actually have no idea what I use this one. This one for Fahir Tuzek Dolayavito. Maybe for my apple tree. I actually I actually don't know. But Tuzek. Yeah, Tuzek. Fahir Tuzek. Um I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave this and take it outside. Uh to the garden. Use this one now. <sighs> Is it true that having too much of jade plants can get old after a while? Huh? What do you mean? You guys think we're gonna find another worm today? Last uh, last time we did one of these, we found we found a worm friend. That was cool. I hope he's doing okay. Do I have food plants? up at some point um, when we talked about the plants and this whole thing that I that I was planning to do and I still don't know how to get my hands on a broccoli plant but I'm pretty sure there was there was no broccoli plants nor seeds at the shop I, w I went to maybe I need to look hard enough <sighs> I don't even have broccoli in the fridge. This is going bad for me in my and my pl p p pot planting stream. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. I think someone said that. Um, I think someone said that it was it would not be something that I could do indoors. And I don't know how my neighbors would feel if I just randomly potted. A broccoli plant outside. I don't know how they would feel about that. An ever-growing broccoli tree. 
Would you call them broccoli trees, though? Aren't they just bushes? Bushes? Not even bushes. What do you, what do you call a broccoli plant? They don't make bushes. They're just like on the ground. What do you, what do you call them in that in that state? It's neither bush, neither. Are they trees? Are they considered? I don't know what they're considered. Look, I, I'm a, I'm a very, I'm a very, very, very simple plant mom. I try to look after my plants, even though I probably don't even know what kind of plants they are. And once a year, I give them some new soil. That's as far as my as my skills go. I think that's good enough. Do you think it needs some more soil? I think that's good. I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile. Oh God, water it. Got my nice little. I can't get close enough somehow. Wait, no! And I was there until you saved me, until you set me free. Why is it not working? Do I need some? Do I need some more? Now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say you can some more water in it. Like I can uh oh. Well, I'm gonna get some more water. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody else. No one will ever take me. No one will ever take me away from you. I promise I will hold on to you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, the worm clip. Let's see. You can buy the seeds in stores, but they grow big. Really? Hold up. Can take me can you see? No way you can. Feels like I can fly. Like I can fly. <laughs> what did I end up doing with that with that worm? Does anybody remember? <laughs> Same clothes. <laughs> what pants was I was I wearing? Oh, actually, same pant. No, wait, no, these are new. Different tights, <laughs> but still tights. <laughs> nice. They were in high school. Oh. Yo, this is this is my leisure outfit. Don't judge me. With sparks in the air. He would stare at her and claps. And she would try to act cool. This is uh but this it is was me. obvious like ooh. being at home, being leisurely, doing home stuff. Alright, this is gonna work now. The one day she said Rocky. So who's coming at TwitchCon? The soil is quite moist, so probably don't want to overdo it. But probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining. There he is, Rocky B, ready to go. Baby, I only want you. Devil's lettuce? No, I don't even know what devil's lettuce is. A nice way to treat your plants. I think you just take a cup of, cup of water and pour it on the plants. That's what I do for a whole entire year. And then once a year, I give them special treatment that lasts, lasts 365 days. <laughs> but yeah. Like the, the, the most difficult part about. Um, 
taking care of plants is just knowing how much water they need. It's hell. It's hell. It's either, t it's like taking care of an avocado. It's like too much, not enough, not enough, not enough. Just right too much. And then it's dead. <sighs> My hair, thank you so much. I'm thinking of going to TwitchCon. It's only a two-hour drive. Hey, you should. You should. You should. God. Although um, finding a place to stay, oh my God, has been quite the challenge. Am I right, Val? <laughs> although, although. Um, it's not like we were completely su completely surprised. Yeah, it's a small place, big event, and with any big events, uh, all you have is just chaos and and <laughs> fight for survival and Airbnbs and whatnot. Do I dream about my plants? I what? Do you dream about your plants? No, I take care of my plants. I don't. I don't, I don't dream about my plants. Maybe I will tonight though. Cause... <sighs> Maybe I will tonight. <laughs> A lot can happen the rest of today. So who knows if it's, uh, if it's special enough or traumatizing enough, it might be transcended into my dreams. Especially fun if your Airbnb gets canceled on you. Yup. We had such a good Airbnb, it's horrible. But, you know, all things happen for a reason. This is my aloe vera. All things happen for a reason. And you know what, they can, they can keep their Airbnb. It's their loss. Uh-oh. Oh, this baby has been trying to survive, but I, I, I don't know if it's gonna make it. I think I'm just gonna let it go. Um, yeah. Uh, this soil has completely, completely died. Uh, oh my god, my plants are gonna be so happy. I also got this plant from uh, same, same as, yeah, same as Rocky B. What was he? Jade plant, jade plant. Um, yeah. Root's also not quite big. Maybe, maybe he'll be happier. With the new soil, TwitchCon NA will be better. God, I still have to, I still have to uh, figure out my plans for for San Diego. Definitely gonna be there. I just, um, I just have to, yeah, I just have to figure out like how long I'm staying, where I'm staying. I mean, no, well, the where I'm staying, probably for you guys, but like after and before and like just the duration of the, of the whole trip, blah, 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 blah. Cause like I wanna make it hoping to make it a longer, a longer trip. Uh, like, spend some time with my brother. Um, so, yeah. I should, I should, I should talk to my brother after stream today. Because uh, a few things depend on my, on my NA plans. <sighs> but it would be really nice. It would be really, really nice to kind of make it a, Make it a proper, proper, like, proper experience. Not rush it, you know? Especially for us Europeans, like, if we travel to the other side of the world, like, it's, it's a big deal. It's a big deal, and... And, uh, yeah, it's worth kind of taking the time to explore a little bit. Cause last time, last time I didn't didn't go to too many places, but it was still it was still a fun time. I was just thinking like if I'm gonna be in the states, I 
I want to kind of go to a place that I didn't see last time. And I'm going to be spending my birthday there. Um, it's going to be my brother's birthday as well soon after. And yeah, we're kind of making plans. Uh, kind of tr still trying to decide which state to go visit. I might go back to Virginia, stay with him for a little bit, maybe drink from there. Uh, but then I would have to find a way to get a guitar from someplace, like maybe rent a guitar if, that, if there's a thing, or find some local musicians that could lend me an instrument. And, and, and then it would be a lot easier because then I could just stream and be there for, for, for a while. Is that too much soil? Probably not. There's no such thing as too much soil. I know Jax and I will be there for around seven days. Oh, really? Before or after? Or all together, all in all? Uh, we have to make plans. I have to get my shit together, <laughs> figure out what I want and what I, yeah, what my plans are, so, yeah. Um, oh, hey, A! Hair tree? Hair lit? What is that? Hair light? I'm gonna go to San Diego, but I think I might not be able to this year. Well, we'll still have, we'll still have Amsterdam, though. I'm very excited about <sighs> But, I mean, it's still... It's still... It's still a while away, so we have time to decide. And also we don't because... Uh, everything gets taken super quickly. Uh, plan to go there Wednesday and leaving on Tuesday of next week. There's Wednesday. TwitchCon is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Not completely disappointed. Actually, he doesn't look happy at all, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that he'll make it. He already looks a lot happier than he was before. Um, but just to double check, and just so I'm making use of my free subs- no, my free trial, let's identify this plant. Take photo. Let's see if the app works properly. Aloe, family of Santa. <laughs> okay, challenge. Try to pronounce the family name. Have you ever drank aloe vera? I love aloe vera juice. Oh my god, it is so so good. Used to hate it. Now, pwa. Every time I go to a ga go to the gas station, I get an aloe vera juice with with like the grape uh, grape flavor. It's really good. Like I th I used to think that the little aloe pieces in aloe vera juice were the most disgusting things ever. Just watching little bits and pieces float around in in, in juice, it just made me want to gag. But now it like how people change don't they we were talking about this last stream about things that things that we used to love as, as or hate as kids but then your your sense of taste your uh i don't know just the way you consider foods and drinks changes over time as you get older i don't know i've learned to love Aloe vera juice is nice. Yes. Aloe Sacotrina. The Fibonus aloe is an aloe which is endemic to Cape Town and the southwestern corner of the Western Cape, South Africa. 
and it comes from the family Xanthoroacea. Xanthoro. Xan. Xanthoro. Xanthoroacea. That's. No. Xanthoroacea. I think that's my final. Final pronunciation. How would you pronounce that? Xanthoroacea. I haven't, I haven't tried it, but the stores in the US have it here and I'm not tempted to try it. You should. Try new things. It's great. Unless it's durian and you're trying it for the fifth time and you still don't like it. <laughs> like me. Then maybe it's best to accept that you will never like it. Drink up little aloe vera. Ah, oh, TwitchCon. I'm very excited. We've been making a lot of plans with my fellow roommates-to-be. And, yeah. I just, I just can't wait to, like, be sitting on a bike in Amsterdam, like, exploring, going through, going through the forest on our way from the suburbs into the city. It's going to be great. Not knowing where the hell I am, but having the time of my life. Um, thinking I'm special on a bike and then, and then looking around to see that there are more bikers than people on foot probably. Is that too much water? Shouldn't be. Or maybe I shouldn't overwater the aloe. No, this is good. This is good. Right. Rocky V and aloe vera are ready to go. How do you try durian five times? Um, I don't know. With with dedication and perseverance, and faith and hope, that you'll that you'll like it at some point, but then you realize that it's just not working out. I don't know, I've never, I've never been able to acquire a taste for, uh, for durian, but every time I go back to Malaysia, um, I try it, thinking maybe this is the time that, maybe this is the time that I'll finally realize how great it actually is have that aha moment but it, it just has never happened yet just the smell the texture the taste it's just all so much so much to take in um, I don't know one day though it might change like two years ago two years ago we went back to visit my dad um, in, we went to visit my dad in Malaysia and Two of my brothers were there, one of one of whom hates durian more than I do. And after several tries, he finally realized that he likes durian. And that was the that was the most surprising revelation that I did the, the, that I could prob could have possibly seen. You know, I would have never guessed. He hated he hated durian more than I do. Ate it, was expecting to gag, and then <laughs> he looks at us more surprised than we are. <laughs> He's like, I actually don't hate it. Your taste changes over time. You just have to be patient and open to the change if it if it were to if it were to happen. Alright, next plant. Um so This little plant here. Um, no idea what it's called. Honestly, it it was supposed to die 
a long time ago, but it's it's still alive. I'm just taking out the, the little dead parts. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what it's still doing around. It's died like twice and come back from come back from the dead. So it's a little survivor. We're gonna find out what this plant is. Little red flowers and everything. It's about it was. I should have taken I should have taken a picture, but it was completely black. And then and then two days later, bam, like baby flowers blossoming. Little baby flowers. Typically, typically the type of plant you buy um, in the shop, kind of knowing that it's just gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna look nice for a week, and then you know you have to say your tearful goodbyes. But sometimes, sometimes it's the beings that we have the least expectation words that surprise us the most in that sure chat. Nirvan has redeemed a VIP slash bam. Bam! Awesome. Alright, okay. I think I think this one's ready to be repotted. But first <laughs> Cabbage. Wait, hold on. Let me let me do the coin flip as soon as I Oh, there it is. Okay, Nirvan. Playing with fire here, but I guess uh, I guess that's just something the community likes to do, you included. So I wish you the best of luck. Here goes the coin flip, second one of the day. Oh, did you see that? you might have seen. You are now for the next 24 hours a VIP. Well done. The crowd goes wild. Nirvana is now. All these gamblers wasting their points. Rigged. You are rigged. Alright. <sighs> Enjoy your VIP. Um. I thought that would happen with me and my, my tomatoes, but I still cannot stand raw tomatoes. What? Wait. Uh, oh wait, no, that was from earlier on. Oh, trying to like foods that you didn't like before. Yeah. I know some people who hate tomatoes. my productivity for today. Prove it wrong, Nirvan. Prove that you can multitask. We won't bother you whatsoever. You can rest assured. We will serve as your booster. Productivity booster. Isn't that right, chat? Nirvan's gonna be so, so productive. Do all the things today. We're all here to have a productive, productive day. Look at me, I'm repotting my plants and streaming at the same time. 
<laughs> Use a much worse for content. Easy. <laughs> Two and one. Uh, I like tomatoes in, in the process form, like sauce, ketchup, but I don't like them raw. Uh, I can't say I agree. I love tomatoes in all their forms. Okay, I, th I am going to need um, a new pot. A new little pot, because this one, it still has its like store-bought, disgusting plastic. So I'm gonna get one from outside. The sun is always shining bright. Let's find one. People are smiling, making plans. Hiding behind the sheet. Maybe this one? And you're doing the same. Maybe it needs a bigger one. Yeah, that there looks good. No flowers. That looks good. Nothing's growing where you're at. <clears throat> Heart is fire. But baby, I bet you're cold without me. Even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get in the street. In the bed, flying away. All right. <laughs> Hey, couldn't go so. What's up? The sun is always shining bright. Welcome. But if the sky would open up, you're staying home, you don't get up. You always used to love the rain, but LA changed. There's something so satisfying about repotting plants. It's like it's not, it's like having fresh underwear on. Or putting diapers on a baby. Or like taking a shower after being super sweaty. Or like no rain, no flowers. Nothing's growing where you're at. That fresh, fresh smell after rain. But mostly I like putting diapers on a baby. It's so satisfying. Nice and clean. No, I thought that was a worm. The sun is shining right. bam, 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 bam. Yeah. I need a backseat, but it's such a happy plant. You may not appreciate the shock of stripping away its soil from its roots. Depending is more about giving it room to grow. I'll be quiet now. You mean like taking out the... Like removing the soil from from uh from between between the roots is that what you meant no i don't think it's back i don't think it's back seating um i am very much open to tips and recommendations <laughs> regarding regarding planting i don't know much about it but just but like me, uh, I do know that old soil is not nutritious, so I guess I'm just trying to like get rid of most of it. Um, but okay, I'll I'll take your advice on the next plant. That should be good. There's this one little ant. Die, little dude. I'm about to. 
And then we can figure out what this what this plant is. Especially its roots. Gotta be gentle with your plants. Gotta be nice. Gotta let them grow. Gotta give them room to spread their wings. Except they don't have wings, so they spread their roots. There we go. I'm ready. Really makes me wonder. Ready to find out what this what this flower is. <laughs> it makes such a mess. Especially when we get to the big mama plant. That is not going to be an easy one to, to repot. Okay. I think that one hasn't been repotted in like three years. That's kind of difficult. Yeah, I wonder. It depends on each plant. That one looked happy. Ah, this one. The one that's died three times already. No, that's good. I'm happy. To, I'm happy to hear that. I've been worried about it. I've given up on it a few times, but but it seems it seems to be doing all right. No, I think that plant that plant is my happiest plant, and that's why I kind of like let it do its thing for the last for the last three years. And then I asked my mom, and she said it's fine if I if I don't repot it for a while. But yeah, I think it needs some new soil. All right. This one doesn't have a name yet, by the way. Neither does my aloe vera, but yeah. It's good. Oh, it's a primrose. I've heard that name before. Primrose. It's a naturally occurring hybrid species of flowering plant in the family Primu, Primula K. K? Primula K? <sighs> it is a result of crosses between Primula varus and Primula vulgaris. It is na native to Europe. Found where the parent species ranges overlap and many artificial hybrid cultivars have also been created for the garden trait. Naturally occurring. Individuals tend to have yellow flowers while a wide there's more. Oh no. I lost the text. Oh well. Well, we know it's a primrose. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me to water my cactus. Careful though. Cactus. I don't know. Maybe I'm a cactus killer, but. I always wa overwater them. My cactuses have always been the ones to die the quickest. Everything else, fine. But this one's ready. My aloe vera does have a name though. Really? Did we give it a name? Aloha vera. Oh my God, you're right. Did you remember that or did you go back? Oh, Bugzor. <laughs> Hello, Vera, yeah. Um, I know the cat, the cactus that we had last time, that one's dead. Um, I forgot what we named that one. But yeah, we still have uh, Rocky B, Aloha Vera. If anyone wants to give this one a name, Premi? 
Premi. Oh, Premi was. Premi was the cactus? Premi was the cactus. Okay. This one's a primrose. Could it be Primi? It's the uh, <laughs> reincarnated version of cactus. Rosie? Aww. That's cute too. You should name your plant Gavin. This is a really cool name for a plant. We do have plants uh, that have not been named. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna introduce you guys to a new plant. He's over here. He's one of the cutest little fellas. Check him out. Meet Gavin. <laughs> oh wait, the Arica Chrysalido Carpus. This one actually has its, uh, I almost said genre, but his own uh, type on him. Isn't they cute? Our new friends. We are new friends. <laughs> Look at his little hair. <laughs> I saw this in the store yesterday <laughs> and I couldn't, I couldn't leave him. Kishirafi. Gavin, the oink plant, whose soil is terrible, painful to look at, so we're gonna we're gonna do something about that now. Oh my god. The little pot though. Oh my god. Look look at the size of this pot. Compared to my hand. Look at the size of it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to be careful though. Because I don't want the separate little, uh, I don't know, separate parts to come, come loose. And this plant has quite a bit of Quite a bit of roots, despite how small the pot itself is. Okay. Um. Whoa. Okay. Time to backseat. I'm giving you permission to backseat. I have no idea what these things are. So if anyone knows, including including what function it has, is it just pretty decoration or does this have any use? Do I do I do I need to keep it? Do I not need to keep it? How much of the soil can I get rid of? I have no idea. Maybe I just give it a little bit of new soil. Just accentuate the soil that it already has. Maybe I should just nourish the soil that it has. Evil, evil palms? What? Hey, Vel, thanks for gifting us up to Courtney. Hey, Courtney. And welcome. roots yearn for more plays. They look like palms and palm seeds. Oh, these are palm seeds? Wait, so technically this could this could grow a palm? Hmm. The only thing is that if I repot it into a bigger pot, then we lose the piggy part. So I'm I'm wondering what to do. Also, this piggy doesn't have any holes, so uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks.
<laughs> really? I'm not a fan of palms. Well. This little baby palm will be an exception today. <sighs> what kind of plant is it again? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. And coconut palm seeds? It looks like it looks like a baby coconut. <laughs> now that now that I think about it. Yeah, it's a it's an Arika palm. I wanna see how big it grows. Oh wow. Arika Arika K Arika K. Golden king palm, Arika palm, yellow palm, butterfly palm, the bamboo palm. It's a species of flowering plant. The family of Arika K, native to Madagascar and nature naturalized. These plants get huge. They don't look very big on these pictures, though. Unless... I don't know, for reference, the ones that they have aren't too big. But who knows? I mean, a lot of plants kind of grow in accordance to the pot that they're in. Like, we have this one pot in... Um, in my mom's place. Uh, I forgot, it's, it's a mon monster. There's something monster in its name. It's the one with the holes in it. And it's so big that my mom has been, ha has had to like tie strings to to the monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom has had to tie strings and like attach them to the wall because it just kind of like made its way up and the pot gets bigger in each and every time and it's just so so happy it's been in that house for like since 2008 and it's just been growing and growing and it's it, it, it takes up the entire wall the entire living room and it just keeps getting bigger um and like two of us need to hold it when we change the pot and the soil and all that um and yeah so my mom at this point is like no we can't make we can't make, we can't like give it a bigger pot because it just has no way. It's up in the ceiling and it has nowhere else to go. I have something similar as well, but that's two meters tall. <clears throat> oh shit. Like this? Something similar to this? Should we let it grow or keep it small? What would you guys do if you were me in my place? I could put a, a little bit of soil in here and put it back into, put it back into its, uh, its little piggy, piggy pot. But, you know, keep it small. <laughs> OG, OG's not a fan. We'll keep it small for a bit, but uh, I guess it depends on how happy it is. Where it is. I'll have some. I'll have some. Time to decide. Give it a little bit of new soil. <laughs> oh, she's ready. Ready for murder. Just waiting for me to look away. So that he can have it have the talk with my little palm. <laughs> Arika Franklin, is that, did I read that correctly? <laughs> Potential name for a little piggy plant. 
<laughs> Let the plant grow into a strong, strong boy. If it survives, I'll let it grow. There's one plant also at my mom's that I got at least 10 years ago that was as big as this one or even smaller. Uh, it was in a little heart, like a tiny heart-shaped pot. I swear, it was smaller than this. And it was a succulent, I'm pretty sure, with leaves. This leaves? Do succulents? Do you still consider succulents leaves? Yeah, right? They were like this big. The whole plant was like that big all together. And it's still alive. And now it's like, I don't know, that big? Or even bigger? So sometimes, man, plants can really surprise you with how long they're able to stay alive. Okay, I don't wanna, I don't wanna push the soil down too much. Hey, Nil Johnny, what's up? What do you mean if it survives? I mean, you know, you know. God take into consideration the cycle of life. Eh? Aretha Franklin. <laughs> Why do all my plants have pun names? <laughs> There's a pattern. Oh wait, this one is... It's a... Uh... No, I'm not gonna kill you, don't worry. You'll, you'll be a big... A big strong boy. Little piggy yeah, it all there you go. Now, just to be with you. Look at that! I gotta wash my hands. Oh no! Getting dirty. Look! Happy? Okay, next. Um, okay. One, uh, okay. Ones and twos in chat. Only I know which is which. To decide which, which is the next, which is the next plant to be repotted. <laughs> Don't worry. You just keep spamming. Mm -hmm. I'm taking note. Woo! All right. It's very close. A few more. I'm taking all the 1.5s and 69s and 420s, and it's all being added to the poll. Should we do a poll instead? I'm too lazy. <laughs> One of the mods wants to do a poll. In the meantime, you can vote. Oh shit! I just got invited to a new festival.
Johnny, thank you. When is it? I can't, I can't, I can't say. I can't say until it's public. But, but yeah, this would, this would be, this would be pretty cool. My first, uh, my first international festival invitation. But I, I'll believe it when I see it confirmed. Um, okay, how's the poll doing, guys? How's the poll doing? No! Come on! Someone be on my side. Last few seconds. Break the tie. Break the tie. You can do it. Someone. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Failure. You have failed me again. Feel good about that, chat? How does it feel to be a disappointment? Good? After the break, what plants you ended up choosing? I gotta pee. into my chapstick that's all good so the next plant is one that you chose ew that still went in my mouth ew. never see this plant apart from today because it's gonna be outside um, 
but yeah, it's my first, it's my first combined, combined plant as a mushkatli. I don't know what mushkatli is in, in English, but it's a type of plant that you see everywhere. Um, that you see everywhere uh, in Hungary. I don't know about where you live. Yeah, we have a lot of them. And I bought like a, like a, 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 a different pot so I can put two next to one another. So yeah, that is the plan. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of these and they, they come in all sorts of different colors. Oh, maybe I'm just gonna leave it because the soil seems pretty moist. So maybe just add to it. Does it look like a happy plant, OG? Is it a granium? Gra granium? Granium? I'm not sure. Does it look like a happy plant? Should I leave it? Or get rid of some of the soil? It looks like a very compact, soiled plant. Okay, I'll just add to it then. That's what we call them in Dutch as well. Granium? Geranium? Granium? Granium? Okay, we'll, we'll find out. I did a very bad thing. Clambering for more space. Ah, okay. Well, there he has it. He's gonna have all the space. Uh, I did a really bad thing. Uh, and I'm so sad about it. But as I, after I took it home, I put it outside to get some air. And I actually broke off one of the stems that had like seven new little buds and I felt so bad look it broke off it was it was like one of these it was like one of these <laughs> it was so sad so I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this little stem um, hopefully it will survive but yeah we, we lost some babies along the way they were sacrificed on the way home but there will be more that'll just stimulate growth in the area yeah well for yeah um before removing it i was like it's just dangling there and i was like should i should i leave it will it survive no i broke it off also kind of was hoping that, um, that something else will come of it in its place. Down to the leaves, I should remove, I should remove the stem. Really? You think? Should I use my handy dandy little cutter? It's the first time I'm using this. so well. That was actually quite satisfying. If you found a way out, come eh. see <laughs> 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 uh. Oh, branch off from that point. All right, all right, all right, okay. I'm excited. So Can't wait. Looking forward to it. I've never had mushkati. No, in this house at least. Um, I do wanna, I do wanna grow some tomatoes for Gavin. <laughs> I'll never forget that time I grew tomatoes in my mom's place when I was still living there. And, and I waited three, four, I don't know how many months for the tomatoes to grow. I took care of them like they were children. <laughs> I just really wanted, I really wanted some tomatoes. And they did, they did grow. Um, they did grow. And I remember the day I 
the day I harvested my first little baby tomato, I made a ritual out of the whole experiment. The whole experience. I made like a couscous um, meal that I prepared exclusively for my, my tomato feast. I cut up the little baby tomato that was like altogether that big. I cut up my little baby tomato into little pieces, garnished my meal, and then started eating, all to realize that it was the sourest tomato I've ever eaten. It was so sour. I just felt, I just felt very, very sad, like I failed. It tasted horrible. And then my mom said it was, it was not my fault, there was not a lot of sun that year, and it is to be expected, I did all that I could, but it was like, it was like the biggest slap in the face, I was like, wow, mm, my first tomato. What a day! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a day. Um, thank you, Raz, for giving this up to Leaf. What's up, Leaf? What's up, homie? Rumi? Hope you're well. So cute. Super cute. That should be a lesson. No. It's just uh, another opportunity. It just motivates me to try, try again. I should have some tomatoes this year. Although last year, I have to say, I went above and beyond and raised little um, Hoinaka. Does anyone in chat know what Hainaka is? Hainaka in English. They're little crawly plants that take so long to have flowers grow, but like they crawl up wherever you plant them. And so I have these bars outside, outside of my window. And so I, I got them crawling all the way up and took all summer for the leaves to like completely fill my little window terrace. It looked super, super pretty. And then by the time it was like fall, it finally decided to flower. And yeah, I just, I had, I had long given up on there ever being nice, beautiful purple flowers in my window. But... I did, I did wait patiently and they came and they were super pretty. But by then, like the rest of the plants were starting to die because it was, it was getting super cold. Not super cold, but quite cold. And they were just like, yep, we ready. Lived to be like two weeks old and then they started withering straight as soon after. So I should probably, yeah, if you can't find some of them as well. It's too late. Done! Lady, I've been out. Um, I already forgot your names. Geranians? Geranians? Does anyone want to name my new flowers? flowers. I don't usually have flowers. So. Common name is horseshoe geran geranium. I don't know if it's a G or it or it like a G, G, G. But yeah, you guys were right. Geranium. Geraldine. <laughs> I like that. Um, 
Geraldine, Rose, Robin, and Roland. Oh yeah, because there are three of them. Okay. But what if, okay, so you see three like, but what if one of them dies out? Do the new babies get called the same thing? <laughs> Gerald, Geraldine, Jerry, Jer. We'll have to come up with some new names that I am able to remember. Gary, Gerald, Garfield. Okay, someone in chat is gonna have to take note of all the all the children that this geranium is gonna have. You're gonna have to give different names to all the little babies. Geraldo. We've got Geraldo, we've got Jerry, we've got Gary, we've got Garfield over there coming out. Robin. <laughs> Live long, little geranium. Should I be poking a hole Can we through the pot? That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because it doesn't have it doesn't have any holes on the bottom, but if I overwater it, I can't get rid of the water. Is that not a problem? Pots always need to have holes. Holes are good. Roots need air too, and don't like wet feet. Is so should I? Like drill some holes on the bottom. Okay, I do need to. Depends on the plant. Can we work it out? roses though, so probably not worth naming it geranium or rose. <laughs> Just to debate people. Casually matching my clothing to my gardening tools. This is my gardening, gardening leisure outfit. Yeah. It's my annual gardening day. Indoor gardening, <laughs> you know, as one does. <clears throat> hey, Ben! I make holes that will help to water the water. Yeah. I don't know how, though. How do I, how do I pull? Oh, maybe I should have done it before. Maybe I should have done it before, like, filling it up, shouldn't I? How would you guys drill holes into this? Next time? Really? Like, next year? Maybe off stream? I don't have a drill. Do I have a screw? I do have a screwdriver. With a dr I don't have a drill. I have a screwdriver. I can try, but I don't. I don't. I feel like I. I gotta be careful because the babies over here are at risk, and I don't want to kill them. Shotgun is the best way to get. Here. Oh, we have the holes in there. Okay, for now. For now, I'm just gonna keep them like this. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. We've got some more plants though that need to be taken care of. So, the next one up, uh, you guys are gonna love. I have a feeling. One of my favorites. Maybe you're not supposed to have favorites, but it's one of my new favorites. You 
ready, chat? You ready to meet a new pot friend? If that's not the cutest plant you've ever seen, I don't know what is. <laughs> Dogs so are better hair than me. Yo, I, I put him up on the shelf above the counter, and it and every time, every time I looked at it from my bed, I just couldn't help laughing. It just it looks like it looks like the epitome of waking up with bed hair. Just constant bed hair. You have morning hair going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's cute. I really hope he survives. I'm actually not sure whether I want to repot him. I'm a bit scared of doing so because this plant looks very fragile and since it's a new plant and since it's got got its little pot going on I think I might leave him to just do his thing but I will water him also a plant that does also a pot that doesn't have any holes so I don't know if that's gonna, if that's gonna be a problem. Camo sheep, morning sheep. Yeah, <sighs> little cutie. No idea what this plant is. We've got to check. I haven't even seen anything like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how much water it needs. I don't know what it is. I don't know about like sunlight, but I kind of want to keep it there on the on the countertop. So we shall see how he likes it. Probably doesn't need water often. Hopefully. Okay. Drum roll. Let's see. Oh. I have one in my office that I'm afraid of overwatering. Oh, really? Once in a day? No, that is very often. Even for even for plants that need a lot of water, not every day. Let's see. 
until we have a result. Mistletoe cactus? That is so cute! It's a mistletoe cactus. Ripsalis bacathera. What is the what app that I'm using? Uh, I forget. It's called Leaf Snap. So the mistletoe cactus is a tropical epiphytic, epiphytic plant in the cactus family that is beloved as a house plant for its unique pencil thin foliage and trailing growth habit. Native to tropical and subtropical regions in South America, Central America, and Africa, the mistletoe cactus grows naturally on tree branches beneath the forest canopy. Aww. Okay, so probably won't need a lot of a lot of water. I'm afraid it's gonna need more sunlight than it's going to get. We'll have to see. But it's very cute. I like it very much. Okay, this one I really just wanted to show you guys. But yeah, I'm not I'm not changing it so I don't. It looks pretty happy the way it is right now. Uh, Alright, I think it's time for the big plant. For the big mama. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make some room for it too. This is my, this is my big mama plant that I'm gonna have to take care of, to be very gentle with when repotting. Look at how big she's grown. is really cute. The fact that one of one of the stems I left to be very small and a little mushroom grew out of it a while ago, a long time ago. Maybe. I'm not sure you that well, but can you see that right there? <laughs> it's the funniest thing. Um, probably not gonna give it an even bigger pot unless it really needs it because I'm scared of where it's gonna grow, but we'll see. Um, gonna head out now. Glad I could watch you stream, I'm sure we'll talk soon too. Yes, 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 we will do, we will do. Gavin, take care. Um, have a good day and all that. And yeah, I'll chat to you soon. All right, how am I gonna do this? Grew. 
grow roots growing nice and big. Get rid of some of them, but not all of them. I'll leave some of them intact. So I don't give it too big of a shock. Like that much. I have to find out what this one's called too. Something between a peace lily and a sin. I have no idea. I have no idea. We'll find out in a bit. Put her back. Nice and gentle. Whoa. Left handed soilage. I didn't know in my office is a European fan palm. Nice. Did you just find that out? Did you bring it to the office or it's just been there since uh, since you've been around? You just never knew what it was called? Keeping it for years and didn't know what it was. I yeah. I mean, I've had the plant I'm repotting right now for God knows how many years. I, I got this plant uh, from my mom when when I moved here uh, in 2020. So it's two years old. Two years old, but it's older than that because there's a. This is Big Mama, but like there. Big Mama has a mama that's at my mom's place. And yeah, that's this one's mom. So that one grew to be also so big that, yeah, I took its baby. Grew a lot in two years, yeah. I mean, it was it was our it wasn't too big uh, when I brought it over here, but like it's definitely been very very happy. And, yeah, it's got a good place. Ah, I'm making a mess. It's growing so big, it's kind of a, it's kind of hard to control its direction, but I'm gonna do something about it. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot better. Just done with my finals. Nice. You just finished today or this week. Congratulations. Seems good. I think he's ready. I 
There was even a there was a leaf even a little a little fork inside to help keep them up. And I think I'm actually gonna put it back so that yeah. Ah, where was it? Just a little bit in there so it doesn't fall down. So it kind of like keeps it up a bit like that. Seems good. And he's ready to go back up. I'm gonna put this one back up top because it kind of takes up the whole entire space, doesn't he? Or she, sorry. No, wait, let's take a picture first because I want to find out. I want to find out what this plant is. Oh shit, I'm on 11%. The moment of truth. Oh shit. It's still pretty tilted. Seems accurate. If you're Chinese evergreen. Eric Ara, Ara Ooh, what what was the what was the other plant that had a similar similar source? Um, I think it was I already forgot which one which one we decided to which one that we decided to call Erika, Erika Franklin? Was it? Which one was it? No, this was Primrose. This was Rosie. There's Aloha Vera, Rocky V. Chinese Evergreen, what? No, that's all. Alga, no, Agla Onema Modestum, called Chinese Evergreen. Green for 10,000 years. Oh my god. And Lily of China is a species of flowering plant in the genus Agla Onema, native to Bangladesh, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, and Southeast and South Central China. In these areas, it is found in tropical swamps and rainforests. But it can also be the peace lily. That's, I think, OG said. Maybe it is the peace plant. Peace lily. I don't know. It could. It looks like it could be either. Lily. I don't know, it could either be Chinese or German. What do you guys think? Does it look more like this? Or does it look more like this? It kind of looks the same to me, too. Even the stems look the same. Hmm. I can't 
can't tell the difference. Take another picture, the leaves might be different. I'm not sure. That looks the same. Okay, I'll take I'll try taking another picture. See if see if there's a difference. I don't know if that's the if that's the right picture. Oh god, now it's giving me another one. Now it's saying that it's the golden something. No, definitely not this though. No, 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 no. It's no, no, no. No, definitely not that one. It looked more like. Now it's saying it's the Chinese evergreen. I guess we'll never know. Maybe, maybe it's a maybe it's a hybrid between the two. I have to put myself on charger one sec. Variety of lily. Oh yeah. Looks like you just held up two different photos of the same plant. To be honest, I know that's what it feels like to me too. Are the leaves more heart shaped in the second? Really? Say something that will make my day. Cause his memories of her won't go away. They're haunting me so I can't sleep. That's three. He's lovely. Idea. Now we have the other one, which is the Chinese, the Chinese evergreen or whatever. So I don't know which one I'm going. I'm looking at the screen. Oh. So what is this one though? It does have bamboo stems though. Idea. But some sort of a bamboo. Like my outfit, thank you. Just tell me why did she go? All right, next plant. I've been wrong 
You know what I keep getting thrown off by? The fact that the clip is still open and I'm staring at myself on the screen. The same outfit. Get rid of this screen. There. Oh, that's better. <sighs> All right. There's another plant here that's really cool. But we're not going to be repotting it because it's a special plant that actually is potted, potted, stored in moss. I don't know if you guys have ever seen anything like it, but yeah, it's got a little moss home. Isn't that cool? And, and basically every week or so, I, yeah, every week or so, what I do is I take one of, one of these bowls and I just soak it in water. It stays moist for a week, and when it when it becomes when it becomes light, that's when it has used up all the water, and then you've got to re-soak it. Yeah. And it's got like a coke. It's, it's like a coke, cocoa, cocoa something is what it's called. I forget. Let's double check to see if I'm right. We don't need to give it any water though. I didn't know. I didn't know this one was, this was called a good luck palm. It's another palm, OG's favorite. Uh, Camador, Camadoria. It's a luck palm. It's a good luck palm. Same as the one you have, really? But so I think I think the cocoa I think the cocoa part comes from comes from uh, having it ins inside moss or something. Camadora. Oh, I'm so I'm so confused. Came Camadoria in moss. Wait. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, this one. Cocodama. Moss ball. That's what it's inside. We can call him. We can call him the 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 good luck Coco. <laughs> because it's a cocoa moss plant. But it also gives you good luck. Oh, we got a we got an awkward raid. Hey guys. Hello, Awkwards, welcome. You come at the perfect time. Cause I'm holding up a good luck plant. It's my good luck charm. So I hope it blesses all of you coming in with some good luck in your life. Um, thank you so much for coming by. I took a sneak peek in stream and I saw that Tallulah was eating some delicious food. I have no idea what it was, but I would have kept watching if I if I wasn't about to start my own stream. So hope you had a lot of fun today. I know that you're leaving. I know that you're leaving uh, Thailand. I have no idea where you're going, um, but good luck with it. I don't know. I don't know where you're off to, but I know that it has something to do with. Project M. Do you guys know what Project M is, or is it one of those one of those awkward pro 
project that you know nothing about until it happens and it's all a big mystery. The moon? Are the awkwards headed to the moon finally? It wasn't enough exploring the <laughs> exploring the ocean, the sea, streaming underwater. That's so 2021. Now, now you're going to the moon. The awkwards never know how to slow down, do they? Project Mimi. Is Tulula coming to visit me? Is that what it is? boat called Deluna in the Mediterranean? Wait, what? They're gonna join a mariachi band. <laughs> I love that. Project Go to the Moon. Project Minecraft. Awkwards have done enough traveling. They're just gonna lock themselves into a room and play video games. Sounds like a very awkward thing to do. I don't think they would be able to stay on their butts for more than 24 hours. Spring cleaning time, project mop. <laughs> project mom, visiting mom. Oh my God. I wonder if any of those is actually true. You guys are, you guys are utilizing the fact that I have not been up to date with what's going on in the awkward world so I actually don't know maybe one of those is maybe one of those is actually is actually true maybe the awkward are actually going to the moon I don't know I'll have to I'll have to talk to Tallulah and see if she can give me a sneak peek a little spoiler alert Project. Although, although they were very, they were very secretive about about the the Co project coconut, and uh, I did I did get some spoilers, some secrets revealed, but not everything. That's for sure. <laughs> not everything. So they're very they're very good with keeping their secrets so that we can be it keeps things interesting yes even friends have to wait to find out project moon gnt <laughs> became farmers <laughs> that's why this raid we get pointers on plants oh my god that makes so much sense the only reason the awkwards are in my chat is because they're trying to they're trying to get in on all of the planting secrets. Mm. Well, if we've learned anything today, it's that when you are repotting your plants or trees, can I use this as a nail clipper? I have a very annoying little nail that's hanging. <laughs> this is Okay, if we've learned anything in today's stream is that this is not a nail clipper, unfortunately. <laughs> and when it needed a nail clipper, you actually need a nail clipper. Um, no, it, what we what we have learned is that uh, is that soil needs to be changed every now and then, once a year, but roots need to be left alone, ideally not pampered with, left to grow, but soil doesn't need to be changed, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, have you told the Raiders you're usually a musician? No, it's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Um, yeah. But welcome Raiders, I don't think I've even told the Raiders my name. Uh, nice to meet y'all. I want to show you guys a really cool plant that I bought yesterday. The last of the new plants. I'm actually not even sure if I have a pot big enough for it. The 
this might be too small, but uh, yeah. Check this guy out. This is my first evergreen. I just thought he was the coolest little wavy plant that also, yeah, caught my eye late yesterday. <laughs> and I couldn't resist, so yeah. Meet the evergreen. That has no name yet. You guys can uh, give me some ideas. How many plants do I have? I have a few now. I am running out of space. Uh, I've, I'm running out of space, but he's gonna live outside as well, along with some of my other plants. And yeah, all I know is that it's, it's he's, he's an evergreen. Um, not sure. <laughs> I'm gonna give him some new soil and a new pot because I don't like having my pots in plastic. If there's if there's uh, something I can do about it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the raid to the raiders for coming by. Shout out to Tallulah and Gaspar, who are good friends of mine. They're travel streamers who have been around the entire world. Are one of our first like official travel streamers. They they're OG OG streamers on Twitch who paved the way for IRL streaming. Um, many years ago and yeah one of the most hard-working streamers that I know and I can't wait to see them very soon at TwitchCon so if you guys are into IRL streams travel streams then I highly 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 recommend checking them out uh, Gaspar uh, has he been streaming on his, uh, like, French slash English bilingual channel? I know that he has, uh, he has been, yeah, doing a, a trial run on kickstarting his own channel, and Tallulah has been in charge of the Awkward channel, so check them both out. They're really something else. Constantly doing new stuff. God, how am I gonna get this one out? He really doesn't wanna come out of his foster home. I've gotta kind of help him Ugh, get out. I might, uh, I'm actually not sure. I have, a, I have a, a pot that might be too small and a pot that is definitely way too big for him. Not sure, not sure what to do. Oh, uh, here we go. Here he comes. Oh my God. Okay, this guy has the most root by far. Crazy. I wonder how old he is. <laughs> He's a stubborn plant, I don't know. Or maybe a happy plant, but I just, I wanna give him a proper, a proper pot to live in, not this, not this, uh, this plastic thing. So it's difficult. I also don't want to hurt him, so I'm trying to like be careful. Too big is more suitable than too small, especially with that many roots. Okay, you will you will see how big that pot is though. I guess it's fine because he's gonna live outside, but still. Oh my god, I still can't. Oh okay, oh, got him. Here we go. He's been living in this pot for a long time. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to see the size of the pot I have for him? He's definitely not gonna fit in here. I, I now can see. I now can see that. <laughs> He's not gonna fit in here, is he? 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's not gonna that's not gonna work out. <laughs> nope. You can tell I didn't have one of those one of those shape shape matching toys as a kid. I did not have one of those. You think he's gonna grow even bigger? Is this gonna be my biggest plant ever? You think? Sooner or later I might have to I might have to put him outside in the garden. It's a tree! Oh my god! Look, I've only been a plant mom for like two years, so bear with me. I'm new at this. I'm new at this. Give them room and they grow. Indeed. It's a small tree. Okay, like that. It'll grow into an actual tree if I put them in the ground. I might next year. I actually might. Put him in the garden and you can climb him in 30 years, really? Should I plant him? Should I plant him next to Gertie next year? What do you think? They can be they can be neighbors in the garden. Is this theater? To bon it's too late to bonsai it. You did. You just have a. You just have big muscles, no big brains, just more, more force. Bonsai is when you keep a tree small. Is it? Or? That'll live all of us. That's for sure. Unless it gets chopped down. Well, hopefully not. Unless the bad soil outside kills it. Because the soil in our backyard is not the best at all. Looks like an animal reaching up for something. Look, the, the story of why I have this plant is that going into the shop, I found a tree, like a huge tree that I really, really, really wanted <laughs> to buy, but it was like, it was enormous. It was, it was, yeah, it was a proper tree. Um, and this was the second best plant tree, whatever, baby tree, that kind of looked like it. Yeah, I actually wanted to buy a tree. I considered. <laughs> oh my god, so cute! He's adorable! I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you, I took a picture. And the reason why I liked that other tree was because it had this really cool, like, twirl, swirl, wave. And this one had the same wave, so I was like, all right, perfect. This is exactly the, the size that I can take home. And it still has the swirl that I'm looking for, or that I fell in love with. <laughs> Look at it. Wow, this was the tree. Wait, uh, this is the tree 
that I wanted to take home. Isn't that so cool? But I mean, it was huge. It was, it was outside the garden shop. And, and then I got this one that had kind of a similar, like, wee, 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 topsy, topsy turb. So I was like, all right, <laughs> this one will do. <laughs> Looks like a nose in profile. As a tuyo, varia, chin out and get We're going to take a picture and see what my fancy pants uh, app says about this plant. Hmm. Hinoki false cypress? Could that be could that be it? Could it? <laughs> um cypress, 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 cypress. Hmm. Hinoki cypress tree? Japanese tree? Could it be? I'm not sure. There were quite a few options, so I'm not I'm not sure if this is actually it. But the leaves kind of look kind of look similar. So it might be. Might be. I want to take one more picture. See if uh, we get the same result. One more picture. <laughs> what should we name him? Yeah, okay. So it's a Hinoki. False, si why is it false cypress? Is it because it's small? Because it's, oh, because it's in its dwarf form as a bonsai. So it's a bonsai. A soaring tree is often used for privacy, privacy screens because it's so tall and dense, but Hinoki cypresses are often also used as ornamental plantings or as an, oh, or as in dwarf form as bonsai. Hmm. So it hails from southern Japan, apparently. I was wondering if it could be a bonsai. I don't know. I have no idea. It's pretty small. That does not mean it can't grow though. Wait, I wanna put some music back on. Give me one sec. Um. options. Maybe this one? No. <laughs> I'm so bad. So bad at figuring out like what the right size is. I guess that can work. Just to, just for the time being. <sighs> I missed the name. Can someone put it in chat? One sec. I'll look at it again because I, I think I forgot. Um, it's a Hinoki, Hinoki Japanese Thing. Wait. Um, this one. Hinoki false 
Cyprus? Cyprus? Nope. Yeah. If that's right. Okay, Cyprus, have you heard of it before? I haven't. But we now know. I also have Okay, so we've got we've got all sorts of plants. We've got the soil soil needing plants. We've got plants that um need that live in not soil but moss. And then I have a plant that I think you guys have met before, <laughs> before some of you at least, and it's a, it's a water plant. Check it out. This one doesn't need soil, it just needs water. And it grew to be huge. If you remember, this one was tiny. Two years ago, I think. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but it was very small. It's still alive. Lives in water. Cork. <laughs> Hydro bamboo? Oh damn! OG with the terms. Yeah, I still I still gotta find like a proper home for it because it it just lives inside this uh inside this jar and has been. I want to find it like a proper hanging hanging pot of some sort that I can like put up somewhere. I'm not sure where. But yeah, he's grown to be quite a big boy and he seems he seems happy. Roots aren't very big, but yeah. Um yeah, I give it I give it uh rainwater. That's why it's like pretty yellow. Just get a bigger jar, but there's no need for it. Look, the roots are not very big. So he's been happy in here, um, just up against the window. So yeah, I'm gonna put him back up because I can't really tilt it against anything. But yeah, um, I'm gonna be right back. I have to pee again, but yeah. When I come back, we're gonna have the grand finale. So don't go anywhere. Caught behind Venetian blinds Try to reach for the city line This ain't where I belong Ain't looking me in mind of what I've become I've been running for weeks Looking for something Digging deep It's not 
Hello, hello. I'm back. My voice ready. Gonna be doing some music soon. <clears throat> After I finish repotting everyone, uh, the plan is to clean up the mess that I made. And then, yeah, put everyone back in their in their places. And yeah, play some music for you guys. What's my favorite thing to do in San Diego? Um, I'm not from San Diego. I've only been there once for a couple days. So I, I don't know what you should do. I only went to the convention center and like walked around downtown. So I don't know, maybe just explore, get lost. Like not get lost right now, but go and go and get lost in San Diego. <laughs> Get lost and and then get found somewhere else. That's what I suggest. <laughs> and that's the last we saw of them. <laughs> Get real for a sec. Let's take a moment to be here, to be present. It's time for us to have a little talk, to have a little chat, to have a real talk. have a talk that we that we all deserve it's a talk that has been has been forthcoming a talk that you all deserve um, I have a confession to make it's not going to be easy to hear but deserve to hear it anyway. About sleep. Those of you that are new to the channel might not understand the context of this conversation per se, but, but, uh, but just, just, uh, just take, take a moment to let it pass because this is more a talk for those that have been around for a while, that have been around in anticipation to find out the truth about our dear Slee. Now see, Slee is, uh, is my pet parsley that I got, I believe, was it, was it last year or two years ago? Dear, dear Slee, We love sleep. I know, I know we all, we all have been here in support of the parsley has, that, that, uh, that became part of this community. A hundred percent, as, as much as any parsley can be, can be part of a family, part of a community um, that has brought us closer together. We 
we will never forget Slee. Slee is one of us. Slee is no matter no matter the outcome of this talk of what I have to say, it doesn't change. It doesn't change, you know, the love that we have. <laughs> this is so sad. I feel like I feel like we're at a <laughs> no matter the outcome, it doesn't change how how much we have been through. It doesn't change the love that we have for Slee. You know, I, I gotta be real. Slee lived a long and happy life. Um, but I would lie if I if I said that Slee lives in the same in the same body that he lived in two years ago. Slee has experienced the circle of life. Slee has uh, experienced many different shapes and forms since uh, since you guys have last seen him or her. To this day, I'm not sure. Um, maybe 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 Slee has experienced all <laughs> the entire spectrum. Two years is a long time to be a parsley. That is for sure. Um, but it's not. It's not a crime to to go through the circle of life, to experience the cycle from start to finish. Um, Slee left a legacy. That is for sure. No parsley has no no parsley has has had the had the fame and had the appreciation and support like this parsley. Our parsley. Our dear, dear Slee. Slee has not only left a legacy, but Slee has also left something else for parting this world. Do you know what that is, chat? Sleep has left a mini me. A little offspring. Sleep might not be around anymore, but Sleep left a baby. And I would like to introduce Slee Junior. Daydreamer, keeping that me. Take me back, all the way back to the day. Are you ready? Now I will say, I will say I was not a hundred percent honest. There was some mystery in where Slee was, but can I just say, Slee Jr. is not is not that big of a junior anymore. Slee is Slee is a full grown adult. Um, I did leave a big, big dose of mystery in the whereabouts of the Slee family. Um, but this parsley 
has been around for one whole year. I've kept Slee Jr. a secret because, because he's been very shy, like his father. Um, and uh, Slee right here, Slee Jr., I don't know how, but has been around for one whole year. I don't know how. Slee Jr. has been outside through rain, through the winter, and he's still alive. Still shy. He's here for the first time in front of you guys. He's been on Instagram before. Instagram knew him before before you guys did. <laughs> he's a he's a slee influencer. Slee influencer. <laughs> yeah. And I can even and I, I can even prove it. I have a I have a slee folder. Maybe you guys remember, but, um, but I uploaded this picture, but I uploaded this, I, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was this picture or <laughs> this one. There was a whole photo shoot last year um, of when I of when I planted him like maybe two months before before this picture because he was he was pretty big at this point. Um, you can tell that you can tell that his little his little uh, label is quite quite old. And I have this one video. Check this out. I'm gonna be myself, gonna be someone else. No one stopping me now. February of this year. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel the love. It's what I like to do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive. There too. He's a survivor. Beautiful stars. I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me up. Nothing can break me. I don't know how, but he survived. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. It's time to repot Slee Jr. for the first time in a year. And it's time to give him time to give him some new soil. I think he's very in need of it. We can take a moment of silence to think about Slee's dad, the OG Slee, ready to see. Fun fact, I don't, I actually don't know. Should I, should I just add some soil to it? Or not? I don't know. 
I'm actually, I'm actually unsure of what I should do. Because <laughs> I've given up on even Slee Jr. so many times, left him out in the cold, and he's survived it all. So, I don't know. Maybe this is the time when I'll actually, when I'll actually kill him. I don't know. Maybe I just give him some, give him some, uh, some new, some new soil added to it. Just add, let it do its thing. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I hope I don't kill him. Oh yeah, and that's right. Veld, Veld has met Slee. Veld can be you you can be Do you know I'm looking the witness to having seen him in his fine and glory youth. <laughs> that was last year when I was like, ha ha. They all think. Think he's not around. But there's he? He's in hiding. <laughs> we had to sign an NDA to tell the truth. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Oh my god. He looks so much nicer already. We get some love and chat. For a new chapter in Slee Jr.'s life. So we stay here forever. I love this so there's a new home. So we stay here forever. I love this moment. So we stay here forever. I love this moment. Such a happy little boy. Okay. Give him some water too. And that's it. Oh, so satisfying. On fun fact, I think, so one of the reasons why I think Slee Jr. has survived as long as he has, let's put this back in there. One of the reasons why he survived this long is because he grew from seeds, grew from seeds, and... I used OG Slee Daddy's soil to harvest Slee Jr. 
So in a way, in a way, OG Sleeve is with us. Reincarnated <laughs> in this pot. <gasps> yeah. All right. Say bye. Say see you next year. Bye, Sleeve. Bye. See you in 2023. Did we name this guy? Did we give this one a name? <sighs> the Evergreen. Um, did we give him a name? Did I even... Did I water this one? I'm not sure I did. Let's give him some more water. One was the Hinoki, Hinoki, uh, something. <laughs> nah, Slee Jr. is just Slee Jr. Say bye. Um, hey, I wish you could Geraldine Garfield, Gary, Jerry. <laughs> Nickname Tim. Tim, which one? Oh, aloha vera. Aloha vera. Say bye, aloha vera. This one will be here in the corner, along with Rocky D. Lucky Plant Coco. That's what I am. Back over here. Beautiful Detroit. Big Mom. And we've got. I 
forgot what we named this one. Did we give him a name? Forget. We can call him Bed Hair. <laughs> Gavin the pig. That's it. Bye, Neil. Looks like my hair after too long at the beach. Yup. Sounds about right. All right, what I'm gonna do is get everything kind of sorted. I'm gonna clean up. Um, and then I will play some wind down music. So give me like five minutes. Um, I'll just be walking around in the background. You can watch me clean up my mess. Special, special soil for Slee. Oh, I forgot. To be used next year, I guess. Will it still be good? It'll dry out though, maybe. Poor Slee. No! You know what? I'll add some to it. I'll add some to it. soil is gonna make all the difference in the world. It's gonna be the reason why you guys see him next year. I gotta, I gotta put the camera back in just a moment. Time and stuff that doesn't really matter. 
How does it feel, chat? Do you feel the same way? Maybe you just sit there you don't while I do all the work. You have in front of you. Well, maybe I'm not enough for you. So maybe I should go. If I had known from the start, this wouldn't have ended with broken hearts. Cause I don't want to waste my time. Are you working? The same way. Are you really though? Don't pretend that it Does your boss okay. agree? Ready to go back where you belong. Back in your place. I've gotta I've gotta adjust, make you guys go a little bit higher. Keyboard goes back there. The moving chat. You ready? Don't fall. Don't fall.
How is the angle still so wide? Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Searching for my heights. You can that say seems, I lost my that mind. seems more like keep what it was, you know? Head high. Even if the sky is falling like that. Even the sky is falling down. Zoomed in a bit. You're completely zoomed in on me. That's what it would look like if you were zoomed. I think that's what we were missing. Zooms out looks pretty good. No. I think that's how it was. Probably a bit more lower, actually. I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah, you missed the pot friends. They were here with us. Hold on. Was the whole stream, did I have reverb on the entire stream? Guys, did I have reverb on the entire stream? Thanks to at Zedevelt for my sub. Salula! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Thank you so much for the raid earlier, by the way. Oh shit, wait. I I just realized the camera's a little bit tilted. Do you guys feel tilted? I, I'll, I'll do that. I'll fix that after stream. Um, thank you so much for 
bringing your community over earlier. I just finished repotting all my plants. They are happy outside. Oh my god. I love, I love that one. It looks like I have a little mini forest. Um, but yeah, got some flowers, got some, got some all sorts of plants. <laughs> Anyway, Tallulah, I hope you're well. I don't know where you're going, but I saw I saw <clears throat> a bit of your stream right before I was starting mine and I saw that you were you were eating some delicious food somewhere. And yeah, let's talk soon cuz I I don't know what's up where you're going. Um, but yeah, hope you're well and uh, doing all right. My left leg is shorter than my right leg, so it balance out per balances out perfectly. It's funny because it's funny because the way I see the camera right now, it's very tilted, but on camera, on stream, it doesn't look like it very much, so it seems almost fine. Yeah. Final stream in Thailand. Is it a secret where you are going? Cause I also saw Project M a couple times in your stream titles and and you, you spoke about it, but I don't even get to know what it is. No one knows. Or do or does everyone except me know? Well, you weren't here earlier during the raid and everyone in chat was making guesses. Either debating me or or just trying to guess what it was. We came up with Project Moon, you're going to the moon. It was Project Moo, you're gonna become farmers and that's why you raided me today because you're trying to get my planting, planting secrets. <laughs> um, what else did we come up with? Project uh, Mom, Project Mimi. You're coming to visit me. You're coming to surprise me. And you're just gonna show up at show up at my door next week. You're actually flying back here. That's that's the that's the project M that I am that I am most excited about. I'm rooting for Project Mimi. <laughs> um Project Project Um Oh, I don't think anyone said Project Mermaid. I'm thinking Project Mermaid is what M stands for. That's my guess. And and it's going to be 100 100% 100% underwater and you're going to have one of those mermaid outfits and you're just going to you're just going to go sw Oh, maybe you're going to go work in a work in a an underwater world and work as a work as a mermaid. <laughs> uh, except you're going to stream the whole of it and you're going to be swimming you're gonna be swimming with. Ah, oh, you did have Project Mermaid. Is that what I? Is that why it sounds almost nostalgic? Was that the? Was Project Mermaid, uh, the the scuba diving project? Oh, so th so there's a new project. There's a new project M. There was Project Mermaid, and now it's something completely different. Oh my God, you guys and your suspense. Oh my god. Toyota, welcome. Hey. Miscellaneous. Project. Project Meow. Are you adopting 25 kittens? Is that it? Yeah, the diving and free diving with the dive school here. Oh. Project Coconut, Project Mermaid. Surprising us with a lot of new things. I'm excited. I can't wait. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, as for my stream, I'm feeling a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go get my my uh, leftover sushi from yesterday. My my friend came over yesterday, and we made some sushi. And I have two rolls left. And before I start uh, music, I'm gonna do like maximum one hour of music. We'll do like one round of Q. Actually, you guys can probably already 
add some songs to the queue while while waiting for me to cut up my two sushi rolls. And then, yeah. We'll play some songs. You mean tell me to remind you about like, oh yeah, yeah. Queue was too long and Elden Ring was waiting so I'm reminding you today. Okay, okay. I'll start with that, no problem. You can start with Lei. Continue. Who dat? Skazen. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, add to the queue. Okay. Lei has been added. Priority. I'm going to open up the queue for f five songs. Queue is now open. So, yeah. Go for it. Add some, add some songs. Um, and, yeah. I'm going to be right back. I'm actually just gonna bring the sushi and cut it up here, so. One sec. Be careful. <clears throat> what have you guys added? We've got Lay, Fire on Fire, <clears throat> Sweet Child of Mine, uh, and Godless. Cool. There are two spots left. Just so you know. And I'm gonna make myself some space so that I can cut up my sushi. This is what we're working with. Actually, I guess if I if I widen the lens, then you'll see my sushi. Almost, nah. But here, I'll show you. Here's my sushi. On the plate. There. <laughs> Made these yesterday, but as opposed to when you go to a sushi restaurant and it's never enough and you, you walk away broke, because it's so, so expensive at restaurants. It's totally the opposite when you're at home. You, I recommend making sushi. If you like sushi, make it at home. It's so much more worth it. So much more worth it. Especially if you're vegan. Um, it's cheap too, because you don't spend all the money on like fancy pants fish. Uh, it's literally just like carrots, cucumbers, and avocados, and I don't know what else. Uh, rice and some and some seaweed. You always make too much. If you're like me, you always you always make too much. You have leftovers to, until the next day. It's super fun. You get to bond with friends. 
uh, if you make it with friends. Um, and and yeah, you get to try try out new things. If you're like me, every time you make sushi, you can add some like secret ingredient. Sometimes I'll add just random stuff lying around. Banana sushi, mango sushi. I think I've made, um, what, what other cat? Sweet potato sushi. Uh, oh no. Okay, this one, this one broke. It's all good. I'll just leave the little leftovers to the side. With mango, it's good. Bana because bana uh, mango sushi is something that actually exists. <laughs> Banana sushi I made up. Oh, you know what else I've tried? I've tried, um, I've tried orange. I've tried, tried orange sushi. Um, homemade is more worth it. Yeah, creation makes life sweet. I've, I've genuinely just really enjoyed making sushi with people, to be honest. Like, it's so funny, because there's always someone in the group that's never made sushi before, and it's almost a rule that your first sushi roll has to be horrible. It's either really fat and, like, chunky, full of rice, barely anything in it, or really scrawny, or like my friend yesterday, <laughs> where every single sushi roll she made, one side was really thin, one side was really chunky. It was like really lopsided, so it just looked like a huge joint. You've tried strawberries? Oh my god. I love that. Um, yeah. Broccoli sushi? No, I haven't tried broccoli sushi. I don't have any broccoli at home, so I can't, I can't make, I can't make any now as well, either. Taste wise, not bad. It's way too soggy with the strawberries. Yeah, I can imagine that being the case. Oops, something just fell. You only eat sushi with cooked things in it? I've only had sushi, mostly just had sushi with raw things in it. This time around though, I, I didn't try, I didn't try anything weird or interesting because I didn't have anything at home. Mm. This time around is just cucumber and, and carrot. I didn't have anything cool and interesting at home. Mm. You know what I forgot? I forgot the ginger. Gotta get some ginger. Be right back. Ooh, and also, wait. One more thing. Okay, I might be doing something really stupid by this. But I'm gonna try something new. Because I broke tradition yesterday. By not trying to mix my sushi with something super random. So I'm gonna make up for it today. And I bought something. I bought hummus. And I'm gonna dip a sushi and hummus. That's gonna be my attempt. Because I've had rice with hummus, I've tried, I've dipped both carrots and cucumbers in hummus, but I've never dipped my sushi and hummus. 
So I'm gonna try that. <laughs> Thank you. It'll work? You think so? Why not? I'm gonna try. Dipping sushi in hummus sounds excessive. Nah, no such thing. No such thing. I have, uh, I have olive, uh, olivey hummus today. So, okay. I'm going to take some hummus. I'm not going to dip it. I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to put a big chunk of, a big amount of hummus on top of my sushi. Me. Oh shit, that's actually really good. Mmm. Whoa. I like a I like it a lot. Like I said, I have hummus with I have I always have hummus at home. It's one of those things that Oh my god, I'm gonna have another. Whoa! That is... That is... That is quite the experience. I was mostly curious... Curious to see... How the... How the... Uh, the seaweed works with hummus. Seeing as it works really well with the vegetables and the rice, to be honest. Whoa! Mm. Not as weird as I thought it would be. Describe taste. I mean, it's not really, it's not a really weird combination at all. It just... It just, uh, it just tastes good. <laughs> it tastes like leftovers. <laughs> it just tastes like, um, like I've had my regular rice with, rice with hummus. And, like, sometimes I'll have some veggies plus some vegan schnitzel or whatever. That's usually one type of food that I have. And if I put it in the fridge, fridge and have it, have it the day after when the rice is already a little bit cold but like there's not enough to have a full meal so i also have my leftover sushi from the day before and i mix those two that's what it tastes like sushi with sake i don't have i don't like sake 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 i don't know how to say it back to that outgrowing food dislikes thing used to dislike olives and now i love them mm, same Sam used to hate olives as well. <laughs> Same. Mm. My mom loved olives always. And I would watch her eating them in disgust. And now I can't live without olives. Oh, also, fun fact. If you are a sushi lover and don't do this, pro tip. Dip your so dip your sushi in soy sauce, and then dip it in sesame seed. It'll stick on there and give the nicest like extra bit of taste. <laughs> Wearing a kimono, eating sushi, and just finished potting your small indoor plants. <laughs> Basically living a Japanese lifestyle. Next step, moving to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> this is not how I planned for it to happen. But here we are. Here we are. What else? Just need to watch some anime.
Thanks, Dolly. Having lunch, having coffee for lunch is my primary food group, followed by crunchy. Wait. Coffee for lunch, followed by crunchy? What? I've had two coffees today, so as much as I would like to say I will also have some coffee for lunch, I probably shouldn't. Mm. Make a really nice garlic turmeric fried rice. Ooh! Yeah, for sure. Share the share the culinary experiences with us on Discord. Like so many things that I hated when I was young. Yeah, but I think in general we're a lot more picky as children. What's Pachinko? Mm. I'm gonna put... Wait, how do I... Oh, no. Okay. Okay, I've put chat back on my other screen. Hungarian food is... Not Hungarian food is great. It's base it basically just consists of anything and everything pickled potatoes more potatoes uh meat um I don't know help me out what else <laughs> more potatoes pasta Cabbage, lots of cabbage. We love our cabbage. Yeah. Pickled cabbage. And so on and so forth. Paprika, paprika and everything. Yeah. Cake? Um, I don't know. I guess that's vague. We do like our cake, but, um, I guess just dessert in general, a lot of different types of desserts, but like what nation doesn't like their dessert? It's just a question of what type of dessert, I guess. We do like pancakes. Every grandma has their secret special best pancake of the world. Everyone's grandma makes the best pancakes, generally. Super thin pancakes, not the American type. And we roll it up. Mm, a lot of poppy seeds. Hungarians do love their poppy seeds. Oh my god. Hummus and sushi is revolutionary. I'm not even joking. This is amazing. It's my new favorite thing. Why didn't I eat this, eat this combination earlier? Mm, this is 100% rice and plant-based sushi. Yep, yeah. it's just, <clears throat> it's just carrot and carrot and uh, cucumbers, and there was some with avocados, but I think those are. Oh no no no, we do. Ha I do have we. I still have some cucumber and avocado sushi as well. That's all I like. Sometimes I'll have shiitake mushrooms, but I don't have any of those. I don't eat fish, no mati. Mm. Having fish tonight closest to sushi, I guess. Have you tried sushi before though? 
<laughs> Rather sushioner. <laughs> but um psh. What else? What else do we Hungarians eat? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, if dessert then like stru strudels? Yeah, Hungarians love strudels. We have like different different fillings of strudels. Apples. Yeah. yeah. Apple filled, sour cherry filled, cottage oh cottage cheese. Hungarians love cottage cheese. Mm. Every tourist that comes to Hungary is like initiated with this very specific mm, sweet or it's like a chocolate that you can find in every store in the cold like refrigerated section which is like a rod that's it's a rod of cottage cheese and it's covered with chocolate like a thin layer of chocolate and it's called turo rudi and every <laughs> everyone that comes here is like very 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 very, very surprised to see that it even exists and there's people that enjoy this thing called turoduri. And then a lot of them are surprised at how good it tastes. Yeah, I did give Sabi one of those. I think Sabi was maybe the only one that was brave enough to eat it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe Veld also. I don't know if Veld had one. Do I eat goulash? No. Vegan goulash, maybe. <laughs> Sounds weird, but delicious. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> you know, cottage cheese. If it's sugary enough, it mixes quite well with chocolate for a lot of people. I heard my name, but was distracted. Because oh, Savvy, hey. No, we were talking about when you guys were here and and i went into the store and bought the turorudi which was that like cottage cottage cheese roll it was that rod covered in chocolate so, uh yeah I, which one of you actually tried it mm. for those of you that don't know i'll show you This is what it looks like. You don't think you did? Oh. One of you did. Who was it? See, there is, there's even a vegan version. <laughs> I've had this. It actually tastes very similar. Leia did? Oh, she did. I do remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was her. That's right. Everyone was so freaked out by it. You were like, what is this monstrosity? I am not touching it. Leah, I think I think she liked it. Mm-hmm. My girlfriend is also from Hungary. Nice. She loves paprika and everything. <laughs> Mm. Paprika is awesome. I I gave my old flatmate um, the Italian one uh, that I lived with um, in Barcelona. I I brought her some paprika last time I went to go visit last year. I bought her like two two big packets or maybe even three. All of it gone. And I didn't bring her any new one, cause, new one this time around, because I was like, "What's well, gonna last her years?" But 
next time I go, I have to I have to bring her some new new paprika because she uses it for everything now, which is good because it's it, it is great. Maybe Cake also had some tuurodoli. Yeah, but Cake is Hungarian. Of course, he's had tuurodoli. I was very new to stream at that point. It seems like yesterday. Yeah. Time flies. who I only, I only knew Mimi oh shit that new you were that new well I didn't know that's awesome well how far we've come since then huh good times so that was such a fun day mm. yeah also one of the last times I went I was up at the castle or was it the last time I went up to the castle? Maybe that was the last time I went up. No, I must have been up there since. I'm not sure. <laughs> Savvy. <laughs> Go for it. Although, although, I will always recommend making your own sushi. But I mean, of course, you have to kind of have the ingredients for it too but so much more worth it. Oh my God. Do you, do you ever make your own sushi? We are so making sushi in Amsterdam. We are so making sushi. We're gonna make a mountain full of sushi. Oh, oh, it's gonna be great. The one I, the one I made, I made last night with a friend of mine. Never made it before. Big mistake, big mistake. After our Amsterdam workshop, believe me, you're gonna make me be making sushi every week. I don't think I've ever ordered sushi since I became vegan. See, it's like the most infectious thing because you realize how damn easy it is. I only thing you have to do is make make the rice and then and then time it well enough so that you have the patience and not like super hungry, but yeah, have the patience to wait for it to actually cool. Because the worst thing you can do is start making sushi when you're already hungry. <laughs> don't, don't do what I have done before and attempted to <laughs> make sushi while it was, the rice was still hot. <laughs> no, not good. Eat all the right or or do, or yeah. When you're so hungry, you don't even wait for it to to cool. You just like. I mean, I've told you guys. I've told you guys about what I've <laughs> the the horrible things that I've done instead of make sushi. I make I make sushi sandwiches. Is what I do. <laughs> I'll just take a <laughs> like when I'm too lazy to actually make proper nice looking sushi and I'm alone and I'm just, you know, in it to eat it. Well, aren't you always, but you know what I mean, when it's not about the display, like no one's gonna watch, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have sesame seeds in my mouth all day, pardon me. But yeah, <laughs> the best thing is just like taking taking a, a, a sheet of seaweed, stacking it really carelessly with rice, stacking it with, all the toppings you can find more rice and then another layer of of seaweed and if you can you just hold it and eat it like a sandwich or maybe fold it in half that's that's one way of kind of making sure that it stays in place or maybe kind of just like wrapping it up however you can maybe putting a little bit less less uh rice and rice and toppings in it but you just fold it and eat it and sometimes I make a sometimes I make it a challenge and make it a goal to make it look as kind of thrown together thrown together 
and horrible as I can. And it still tastes amazing. And you just like dunk it in the in the in the soy sauce. Or I sometimes will roll it and just eat it like a burrito. <sighs> but now I don't have any more sushi. It's all gone, so I'm gonna be right back. Um and then we're gonna do some music. Did you guys fill up the queue completely? Oh, there's one one song left. BTW. I'm gonna be right back. Shiver in the cold. What am I starting with? Shiver in the cold? so well. Ends it on an E. Just like my E string. Okay. You said it was the last Ready. Actually, I'm gonna get this drink out of the way. That does not look good next to my laptop. Came back from work and then two hours of the input and Platon Karatev. Nice! Platon Karatev concert! That's awesome. Oh shit, my MIDI keyboard is not plugged in. Yeah, I know that I know that they are uh, on tour right now. But I didn't know that they were specifically gonna be playing in Bachum. That's Um, okay. Yeah. 
new song on the list? Is there? Mm, I don't believe so. Mm. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta make sure that there's no surprise sesame seeds in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> it's like that last, it's like that last time a couple months ago where someone, someone made a random screenshot totally d regardless of, you know, anything. Just a random screenshot. I zoom in and I'm like, yo, <laughs> has there been a piece of lettuce between my teeth? The entire stream, and no one told me. And you guys were like, we didn't know what it is. Oh my god. That was so bad. I was so embarrassed. No one told me. The entire stream. I had like the biggest piece of, I don't know, lettuce or spinach or whatever it was. So embarrassing. You had one job. <laughs> to tell me, you got, you got food in your teeth. I do like Anyway, Michael, enjoy the show. You sung the song you played? New song on the list? What? Shiver in the cold, yeah, yeah, under control. 
Shivering in the cold. You know what I'll do? I'll go there and I'll light you a fire to make sure you are quite all right. <laughs> Said I'm too romantic. She said you're dancing in the movie. I only started to believe her. Then I saw you and I knew. Maybe it's cause I got a little bit older. Maybe it's all that I've been through. I like to think you, I like to think it's how you lean on my shoulders And now I see myself with you I don't say a word And still you take my breath and steal the things I know There you go, saving me from out of the Fire on fire would normally kill us But this much desire, together we're winners They say that you're out of control Some say we're sinners But don't let them ruin our beautiful rhythms Cause when you won't follow me And tell me you love me Look in my eyes You are perfection my only direction is fire and fire My only direction 
affections fire or fire they Fire on fire. Request by Nirvan. We've gone from the freezing cold to fire. So we've equaled out, hopefully. And um, up next is Light, which is a Hungarian song. Uh, uh, as soon as I find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Thanks for the claps. Fill my eyes. Nirvan, when are we playing again? I have Elden Ring withdrawal already. It's horrible. It's horrible. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. But I did consider. I did consider whether I will be doing music or Elden Ring today after uh, after repotting my plants. <laughs> music one, but not by a lot. Playing games too much. I don't know what is too much. How do you know? How do you know when it's too much? When you want as long as I'm not at work. Why? What's the problem with video games while you're at work? I, I, I don't understand. I don't see how that could be a problem in any way. Right? Does anybody understand? I don't. Too busy playing Skyrim. Still to comment. Skyrim? Did someone say video games? <laughs> Do you want me to play it? Shall I? Also, how did you survive work the other day? Isn't it again like super late where you are? Ruby, thank you so much for the 28 months. This might eventually catch up to my age, so yeah, no kek. Uh oh. Uh oh. 1.30 a.m. right now. I did not survive. Was it this morning or, or yesterday morning that I woke up and I and I and I thought about you because I had gotten like seven hours of sleep and it was so difficult to get out of bed. It was so difficult to get out of bed. I tried and it took me over an hour to leave the bed, but I thought Holy shit, I got seven hours of sleep. And there, there are people like you out there that are able to get out of bed after two hours of sleep. And I was like, how does that show do it? <laughs> how? I need to know so that I can learn these skills. Because it would be great not to need seven, eight plus hours of sleep. It would be great. I, imagine all the things that I could do with my life if I... <laughs> you know, didn't spend half my life in bed. Ugh. I've been trying to get up earlier. I signed up to go to the gym and I've only been twice, but both times I cannot tell you how difficult it was. Like one hour, one and a half hours to wake up, to drag myself to the gym. And then it's always worth it. I'm, I'm always glad and and like, yeah, happy that I did it, but Oh, God, is it a torment to get to that point. All the extra time one could waste. Imagine the possibilities. True. True, true, true. My sleeping lizard two hours sleeping hard. <laughs> oh, my God. It's easier when you watch me stream. Hyperactive. Sleep about four hours. I know people who function perfectly fine on four hours of sleep. I know it's a thing. Everyone has different needs. 
different bodily needs. Um, I need way too much sleep. But I'm hoping if I start if I start uh, working out more, then maybe I sleep better and, and need less sleep. I don't know. I'm 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 testing. Testing myself. If you weren't sleeping so much, you'd have much more time for naps. Mm. Um. All right, I'm gonna sing Lay, but I've added video games for you, Nacho, in case you stick around for one more song. Um. But first, I'ma serenade you guys in my mother tongue. Here is Lay. Signed up for a gym. I am a runner, but I also have very, very horrible arms. I have chicken arms. And I'm trying to I'm trying to gain some muscle. And I can't do that by running, so and I can't rely on just doing push-ups at home because I'm too lazy. I need to actually go to the gym. Um to lift them weights and do, Hello, do all friends. the cool do all the cool like machine stuff. Chicken arms and pawn friends life is hard. <laughs> Watch me though. Come back in a month. I'm I'm gonna have crazy muscles. Suze, thank you so much for the 33 months. I'm gonna be ripped. Okay, song time. Here we go. This is Lay by Jude Lowe.
tipsy for. I like that. I like that. I approve. <sighs> I approve. Boldog vagyok. Örülök neki. Én is. Én is boldog vagyok, hogy boldog vagy te. Um, yeah, so Lay is back, added to the list, so from here on out, yeah, you can request it again. Um, yeah, no worries. Thanks for being patient. Uh, you like the rimshot sample? Thank you. Thank you, Sid. Learning some Hungarian every day. Wait, what? Are you not? <laughs> Where are you from? We learn some Hungarian here every day too. <laughs> Hungarian rocks the phonetic. It's an easy language. Very easy. Now 
Have to high five the person next to you, or under you in chat. Is there a high high down? <laughs> Is there a high down emote? I just remembered. I just, I just remembered someone using that emote. That's uh, Leon. Uh, Leon's was it Leon's new emote? That's a that's a VIP thing. What what is that one? I just remembered. I wanted to react to it, and I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. You like that? Still live. Yeah, yeah, Ben. What's up? We out here. I think it's going to rain. Do you think it's going to rain? Oh my god, I cannot get... I can't get used to... I can't get enough of the view of this evergreen, ferny... Uh, whatever it was called. It's so pretty. I want it to be... A big tree. Whether for, why is it? Why does it still think I'm in Barcelona? Breathtaking as always, news. Thank you, buddy. Ah. Well, you're 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 lucky. I love this song, so I can play it endlessly. Maybe not a four at forty eight hour version, but definitely anytime you come in here. I'll be happy to play it for you. Supposed to be thunderstorms tonight in Budapest. Yesterday it was so sad. I was supposed to I was supposed to have sushi outside in the backyard with my friend and we weren't able to because it it rained. But that's my next that's my next goal is to have like a nice little dinner outside. Utilize this nice background background backyard that I have um why do I have my phone oh yeah because I wanted to see I want to see what the weather is going to be like thunderstorm I don't think so it doesn't look like it no thunderstorms not here it's clearing out oh you can actually see Slee Jr. now yeah okay next up we got Sweet child of mine. Oh man, I can always go for some sushi. <laughs> you can say that again. Hey Rara, how's it going? I'm doing good, how are you?
with someone is where you went wrong. Oh my God, it's raining hearts in my chat. That's cute. Who's that from? Panny, Panny V, Panny's, Panny VM, hello? Thanks for requesting that, requesting for that. Requesting that one? Uh, OG. Hunter, thanks again for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Say with me. Forget about all the things you wanted, about the way it should have been. When bottled bases, they don't cut it, you find a way to shed a tear. Good night. Somebody went and took your dreams, I you waiting for somebody else to find a cure. You're either wide awake or kind of faded, always second guessing the rules. Just say what you mean, 
Cheers. Still one of my favorites. Oh, really? Oh, that makes me so happy. It's still one of my favorite songs to sing. Uh, I know it's not my most popular song. But I really, I really like singing it. <laughs> Problem with that maybe is that they generally don't want to talk to me after I tell them what I mean. Oh, Well then screw them. Because you're better than that. Okay, Godless and um, Godless by Banks is coming up. Yeah. I'm going to do this one on the piano. You haven't heard this song of mine before? Yeah, there's, a, there's an acoustic version... There's an acoustic version uh, available on Spotify. I suggest that one. Because the studio version, I don't know. It's it's all right. But I, I, I do prefer, yeah, the acoustic, acoustic version of this song. If I could choose... There's no physical, no. There never will be. We don't need, we don't need a physical album for my acoustic stuff. Focusing on new stuff now, guys. Release, 
what's going on? Well, if it isn't Rockstar Mimi. Wasn't it Rockstar Bulgogi? How are you doing? Good to see you. That's the attitude I'm looking for. And maybe I'll drop them faster. What you gonna do then? You're not gonna have enough time to listen to all of them. Oh shit, what? Getting ready for a 2300 mile road trip? Oh, snap. Wow. That's super, that's super cool. When are you heading out? And with who? Like a like a uh, a bigger group or just a couple people. For a solo road trip. This is godless. Into the darkness Did you feel I was divine? Cause I feel the power that laying down by your side And I feel the rhythm And I feel the fever in your arms I couldn't say but at least I say I've tried Oh my God. 
God, hell ain't gone. I'm godless, I'm godless. You don't believe in love. Can't you see the open breaking up us? Oh, when you gonna go? Oh, when you going out, godless? Oh, when you gone? Oh, when you gone? Oh, staring at my new clothes. Hi. Anyway, that was Godless by Binks and piano staying because I'm going to do a loop next. Happy to play it for you, Alvary. Thanks for requesting. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Uh, why not so on by this like 3 3K Sunhazer amp and 2K the headphones I'm afraid you're listening to me using all this equipment, maybe cleaning my teeth. <laughs> I wish headphones did my chores. But honestly, I can total I can totally relate to you. The the day I got these headphones, my life changed. It truly did. Having a good pair of headphones. I can't, I can't, it's like hearing, it's like hearing, it's like hearing a spectrum this wide your entire life, and then it's like, holy shit, this much is out there for you to listen to in range, the spectrum, it's like, it's like being a 2D drawing and then, and then being picked up and like allowed to see in 3D. But like imagine that audio in audio. It's it's absolutely insane when you get when you're used to like really shitty headphones and then you finally get a good pair. It's scary. It's like I don't know, seeing for the first time. I don't know. I don't know how else to how else to uh how else to recommend. And these are probably not even the best ear headphones out there. There's probably like hella better earphones, headphones, but I'm very happy with these babies. So you're listening to all this going, holy shit, I can cry in E flat. <laughs> oh, exactly. All right. Time for a loop. You ready? My push is not ready. My push is asleep under my feet. Um, hold on. I gotta, I gotta make room. <laughs> Push needs rest too. Push needs a worthy home. That's what it does. But. Soon that will be the case. What's up, chat? How you feeling? Am I in your face yet? What about now? Okay. Tuneria. Oh my god. I discovered two new artists that are mind blowing that I, can, I, I really want to recommend to you guys. One is. Okay, before. 
before we continue check out check out B A I A B A I A yeah this is this is one one artist that I highly recommend and the song Pongo or Pongo or whatever no wait not no 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 sorry not Pongo uh Kuzola that's my favorite Kuzola oh my god check it out B A I A Kuzola such a fun such a fun song I think she she sings in Porch Portuguese I believe and the other one is Iniko. Amazing. Or Pongo. Oh, the artist is Pongo. Okay, yeah, that's a new, new artist for me. <laughs> um, Baez the Alba. Okay, yeah. And the other one is Iniko. Mm. So, so good. I'm, I think I'm going to cover two songs from Iniko very soon. I just need to listen to it a few more times. But King's Affirmation and Pinocchio. Pwah. Amazing. Check them out. Uh, okay. Here goes...
Lay is like, yo, I'm back and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Payback, bitch. For keeping me hidden from the crowd. Uh, keep me away from my people long enough. <laughs> Bust your ass. <laughs> Unexpectedly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for <laughs> ruining uh, ruining the moment. Your sweet immersion. Try that again, shall we? The mashup, not so much. <sighs> well, I could have done some guitar improv in that one. 
but too late now. I've deleted it. It's gone forever. That loop is a thing of the past. The passion mashup has potential. What are you talking about? Oh my god! It it was like. I don't even know. I don't know. It's like putting ketchup on sushi. That's what that felt like. It's not meant to be together. Uh, Michael, goodbye. And have fun at the show. I'm sure you're going to have a lovely time. Bye. <sighs> Guitar Jeff, what? Now that Jeff is a regular, we still love Jeff. Who the hell is Jeff? Savage! Sushi arrived! Oh. We could have, we could have a never-ending cycle going. If you wait long enough, you're going to trigger me to order more sushi. And then by the time you finish your sushi, I'm going to have my sushi. And, and if I eat it slow enough... You will maybe be hungry by the end of it. Order some more sushi. <laughs> Never ending uh, feedback loop of sushi eating. <laughs> Where's my sushi, huh? Where's Veld's sushi? <laughs> oh, God. What did you order? What kind of sushi? Share with the group. What are we going to put in our sushi? In Amsterdam. Are there any toppings or fillings that are blacklisted for you guys, sushi-wise? Let's see how open and adventurous our people are, our community. Ketchup. <laughs> We're totally trying ketchup sushi now. We'll do a game. Sushi roulette. <laughs> we'll we'll pull a name. Pick a name. And that person has to try like the most horrible combination of sushi. That'll be a fun game. Maki, avocado, tuna. Nice. Bon appetit. I really like to make spicy shiitake. I don't think I've tried spicy shiitake. But I do love shiitake. Mustard? I don't know which one I would eat. I would rather have ketchup on my sushi or mustard. I think mustard. Mustard for sure. Hummus was a really nice surprise today. Pleasant surprise. Mm. I'd ban onions, not from sushi, just in general from food. But, oh my god, really though? Like, onions not even... Not even uh, like fried, fried, fried onions. Like onion rings. You don't like onion rings, or like cooked. Guess never outgrew that. <laughs> we all have our things. dreaming and dark scheming yeah you do you're a poison and I know that it's true what about bruschetta do you have bruschetta 
Oh, my friends think you're vicious. What if in salsa? And they say you're suspicious. You keep dreaming and dark scheming. And you do. Imagine onions in sushi. I feel like I'm drowning. Plastic, and that's tragic just for you. I don't know what the hell you're gonna do when your looks start depleting and your friends all start leaving. You're so plastic, and that's tragic just for you. feel love your feet oh no was i making weird faces again i do be making them faces thanks for hanging out with us dearest nacho which reminds me i need to <laughs> eat the rest of my nacho chips before they go bad they're probably already gone bad but you know um Gotta get, gotta get on, on, on that nacho train. Um, have a good night. Good luck at the gym. Uh, uh, next time I'm going to be at the gym is Friday. So I will, I will need more luck waking up compared to actually doing stuff at the, like when I'm actually at, when I'm actually at the gym, no problem. I'm on fire. I can, I feel like I can be there forever, but 
yeah, it's just, it's still waking up. That's, that's difficult. Not everything is about me. What? Nancy Fallon was saying, I love everyone's faces. You don't, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so, so, I'm self-conscious. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Just exposed my insecurities. I hope you're happy. <laughs> good night. Good night. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Imagine starting. Oh, no. Don't tempt me, Nirvan. Don't tempt me. I can be tempted, but I did. I did uh, plan to do some some songwriting after stream today. So it literally is. Uh music or video games <laughs> so don't do this to me <laughs> because you will actually be the cause of my music not being written <laughs> lately it's one of the few times uh in the week where i can like have some hours dedicated to songwriting writing a song about elden ring <laughs> what would that be about Killed another boss, Ooh, killed another boss, killed another boss, and I'm gonna kill another one. Oh, where you bomb, 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 bombs at? Oh, here's my bomb, boom, you dead boss, killed another boss. <laughs> it's gonna be a rap song. Beatrix Guitar Raid, yo, thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. Oh, it's a Hungarian raid. Sziasztok, 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 Beatrix. Hogy vagy? Sziasztok. Üdv mindenkinek, mi mi vagyok. Uh, magyar vagyok, de ez angol csatorna, úgyhogy uh, ha nem bánjátok, vissza is váltok, de nagyon-nagyon-nagyon-nagyon szépen köszönöm, hogy itt vagytok. Thank you for the raid! I'm the I'm the only Hungarian. My channel is English too. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. High five. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm nearing the end oh, of my stream. There. But but uh oh. Cool cards. Gifted a sub to Beatrix. Thank you so much. Um uh, and yeah. Thank you so much. Before I finish stream, I'll play you guys one song. I'm just trying to think what that should be. So I'm gonna feel like kill that mosquito while <laughs> Nirvan killed the boss. <laughs> that was seriously one of the funniest moments. <laughs> that was hilarious. Like three of you killing this huge monster combining all your skills, all your powers, <laughs> and I'm running around like, ah, mosquito, gonna die, gonna die, help. It would have been even funnier if I, if I had made you come over and save me from the mosquito <laughs> and like left the other two to deal with the monster. No, but I, I, I made it out alive. Uh, the, the mosquito did not finish with me, so... You know, it is worth something. I'm I'm gonna play you guys an original song. I'm happy that I could finally rave you. Oh well I'm 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 very I'm very happy to have you. Uh yeah, hope you had a really good time on your stream as well. Um a neighbor just stared into the window and looked at me. I don't know what she thought, but <laughs> we'll leave that up to the mystery. Here is what what song should I play? Um I'll do Thunder. Like straight up stared stared into my <laughs> and into my window. Okay, I'll do Thunder and we'll end with Calamity. Thoughts waver, I'll note that 
got one more song thanks for adding the previous one by the way belt oh calamity it's my most recent song just released not long ago um and it's out everywhere thanks everybody <laughs> andy what's up Whoa, how have you been? I lurk in your stream every once in a while. You crazy gal. You're like one of the most creative streamers. Do you know that? I hope you know that. Major respect for you. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Listen to it every day. Oh, it's Texas sometime. That makes me very happy. Um. <laughs> I do. You stream at horrible times for me. Um, 
God. <laughs> but yeah, when I do, I do Ooh. pop in for a little bit, but I'm, oh, I'll deal with that. Uh, but yeah, I'm a lurker. All right, guys. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be the last song of the stream. It's gonna be a loop of my newest song. Let me just, no, it's prepped. There we go. It's been good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> hey, Belle, thank you so much for giving us so to Andy. Very sweet.
myself at home real fast A bit too visibly Wish I could say I'm pleased But I lie Half price Two promises for one But if promises can go on sale Then so can our heart's possession That's how she got caught up in your station Just like a fairy tale dream come true Dream come true, baby Without a happy end And even though it's wanna come back to I guess that it just shouldn't be told That is a wrap. Thank you, everybody. No, it's not always a hard cut. I just never, um, I just never do the same end to the song. And sometimes, sometimes, um, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it ends better than other times. Um, I always forget that with this song, um, the, uh, there's no proper, there's no proper uh, fade out uh, included in the instruments. So sometimes when I, sometimes when I, like shift, stop the clip, there's there's a reverb kind of fade out included, and so it, it it's easier to to end the song in a nicer way but other times not so much that's why i have the the atmospheric sound but other times i forget to use it properly so yeah uh wait who redeemed who redeemed um who redeemed the coin flip um oh balage 
Okay. All right. Are you sure you want to do the coin flip right now, though? I'm about to end stream, so you're kind of... I mean, it's always a waste of points doing a coin flip, but, uh, but like, it's the end of stream, so up to you, but I'm about to finish, so up to you. Up to you. Can't refund. No, 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 we can refund. Dude, just use it, use it next time. So that if you get a VIP, it's funnier to see you suffer with your with your VIP badge. me one last time chat when the night has come peripheral vision and I keep, I keep checking on them to make sure they're still there they're still okay um, thanks for allowing me to just have a leisurely stream today repotting my plants doing my chores on stream uh, it was really nice I kind of want to I kind of want to do more more planting I'm seriously considering going back to the shop and buying more plants the only problem, I don't know where to put them. Uh, probably just on my on my little <laughs> external cage window thing. I would probably put some more in there. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on my planting misadventures. I'll see you guys on, what's today? Um, I'll see you guys on Friday. Hey, snap, Adele and Andy's in here. 
what's up? What's up? Good to see you guys as well. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys on Friday. On Friday, I'm going to be streaming from 12 p.m. CEST. Um, just going to be doing music. I'll try to refrain from playing Elden Ring because I have to go out after after stream and I'm not going to have time. But hopefully next week we're going to have some more some more opportunity, some more time to play video games. As much as I would love to stay and play Elden Ring tonight, I'm going to go be responsible. I feel the jetty. I feel the energy. I'm going to go work on one of my songs. And I will see you guys in two days. So until then, I hope you guys have a good week. If I don't see you on Friday, have a good weekend. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you for the follows, for the subs, resubs, gifted subs. Thank you to anybody that's still here for the from the raid. One of the many raids. Um, yeah. Sending a lot of love to you guys. I'll see you around whenever I see you. Mwah. Have a great day. Let's go raid. Adams, no such thing as bad timing. It's time to go home. Always on time. It's time to say <laughs> Just maybe not for my stream. There's someone out there so streaming right now, waiting for you, you to come say hello. So Just gotta find the right one. Let's so go raid another music streamer, shall we? Um, hmm. Let's check out the recommended goodbye, channels. Goodbye. Maybe someone I haven't raided before. Richard, do I know what this Richard? Swedish man singing songs. Not following. Maybe we've raided, but I forgot to follow. I'm not sure. Um, but let's go over here. Yeah, Richard. Let's go. All right. Let's get the raid call ready. Whether you're a sub or not, do not worry. You'll have something to spam this next stream with. Let's take the love, it's take the support that you guys have shown me over to Richard. It's time and if you like what he does, why don't you please follow him? I'm sure he will appreciate it greatly. It's support all the musicians on Twitch. Goodbye. Bears. See you next time. Bye.